has watched only basic anime, but says they are a weeb. <laughs> There's only one answer, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> right? I prefer green. <laughs> <laughs> we all disagree. Yes. Joey's like anime mentioned, red flag. What's up gamers and TikTok friends? Welcome back to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm TikTok your host, Joey. friends? TikTok friends. I'm your host, I remember Joey. Joey used to do good intros. Yeah. <laughs> That's not even an alliteration, <laughs> Joey. Okay. TikTok friends? Give me a letter and I'll do an alliteration right now. Off B. the dome. B? Mm. What's up, you bootylicious bitches? <laughs> okay, well, okay. Welcome back to another episode of Trash Taste okay. Podcast. I'm Joey and I'm with Connor and Gaunt as always. And uh, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be following a TikTok trend. Oh, that's where you kind of came up with Yes, that's TikTok why friends. I said the TikTok friends. If you guys have been on TikTok or I guess YouTube shorts, uh, any short form content, then you might've known about these little things called red flags versus green flags. Uh, today, we're gonna get a bunch of Potential red flags or green. Are we including beige flags in this? Sure. What's a beige flag? Do you want this to explain? Because it's totally new to me. Yeah. To my understanding, a beige flag is. So if a red flag is a very bad trait that someone has, yeah, a green yeah, trait yeah. is a good trait that someone yes. has. A beige flag is more of an oddity or a quirk. Like, let's say. Like boring? Or? Well, let's say if Gaunt wakes up every morning and just stares out the window for 10 minutes. I think that that'd be a beige flag. <laughs> no, like, that's, that's, that's a red flag for me. Like, that's just a, <laughs> or, you, or, or, or you mean waking up and just shouting at yourself in the mirror? That would that's... be a beige flag. <laughs> like, if you if you lived with me and yeah. you heard that every. That would be either a beige to red flag. Right, right. Because that is just a weird thing. So beige is kind of in the middle between red flags. Because yeah. we all have weird things that we do. Sure. You know? Yeah. And so it's one of those. So okay. Like, uh, don't think of it as like in the middle, it's not good or bad. Think of it. Beige being reserved for like a quirky- Like thing. an oddity. Yeah. yeah, because it can also be no flag. It doesn't right. have to be a green or a red flag. Okay. A, a, a quirk- Surely a, ba a beige flag is just a no flag then. No, no, it's, it's reserved exclusively for weird quirks. Okay. It's not, it is not indicative of a normal behavior. Why did they decide to that's pick just my the- entire life. Why did they decide to pick the most boring color for something like that? Because it's meant to be like, a flag is obviously when something goes wrong. Yeah. Right? yeah. So it's a flag, it's like, oh, it's weird. It's like, there's something weird here. Whereas <laughs> yeah. if it's, we just don't, if it's like, hey, he he replies to your messages. That's just not a flag because that's normal behavior. Right, right. But a green flag is going like, the behavior is good and, but we can we can see how it goes. Okay, yeah. okay. So basically we're gonna be, uh, we, have, we have a bunch of- We can say normal, beige, yeah. green, or red. Okay, sure. So no flag, beige, green, or red. We have a bunch of topics in here that can be one of- uh, Well, they potential flags. Potential, potential flags. Because as you can tell, we are three dating experts <laughs> out there. I'm probably we are, the most we... experienced man of all time, Come on, actually. come on, guys, yeah. come on. We, 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 we decided to make our own alpha well, podcast, all, yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. Our flags. Our right? flags. Yeah, it's, it's our flags. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some representation. Yeah. But I hope like it helps to contextualize how we view something. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so how are we gonna do this? We, we're gonna read out- Let's all pull one out each. One of the, Yeah, we're gonna we'll pull go out a topic out of Trashbox, Kuhn. Yeah, uh, pulling out is a red flag. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll keep my hand in, <laughs> Trashbox, yeah, Kuhn. Yeah, sure. uh, yeah, yeah. And then we'll, we'll pull out a topic, we'll read it out. We will individually say whether it's a red flag or a green flag. And then after discussion, I guess we can collectively, tra what Trash Taste deems, a certain color. Right. Should we do it like that? No, I've, okay, I got a better idea. Uh, can we get the whiteboards out? Oh my God, what are we doing? Because I, I feel like it's better if we uh, reveal oh, what we, we think reveal? at the same time. Oh, I see. Right. I see. Yeah, so we're yeah. doing a little After Dark inspired. Yeah, we're doing a little After Dark here. inspired. Right, we'll do a little After okay, Dark. Okay, okay, okay. This is a film later in the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, because like I feel everybody has their like red flags and green flags with their partners. And, and by the way, we're specifically talking about like partners because right, obviously right. there are like different flags for like friends or like parents or like bosses or whatever. Parents? Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking they openly get on the, the sofa. Belt, they get the belt out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> beige flag. Yeah, beige, that's, that's a bit beige. Uh, so you audio only listeners are not gonna be able to see well, what we'll, we do. We'll say what we're writing down. That's yes, right. but we will say what we're writing down. <laughs> <laughs> this is still from the last after dark. Slightly <laughs> agree. Slightly agree. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Okay, so feel free to play along at home. Uh, on it, right? Let us know oh, down in the comments right below over. what you think about uh, all of these. What do you call them? Uh, like traits, qu traits, quirks, traits, traits. However you want to call them, the traits, traits. You know, if you were to play an RPG and they had these, you would see them as good or bad. Okay, yeah. sure, sure. So let's. Does so your character frequently get drunk. That's, that's, that's a bad trait to have in a character that you want to- See, this is gonna be interesting because I don't think I've ever actually like sat down and, and thought, thought about, about whether yeah. something is a green or that's red first. flag, you know? Yeah, and, and there's a lot of things that, you know, I think when you're, if you ever 
<laughs> if you are fortunate enough to ever get in a relationship, you learn that. <laughs> Did you say? Because God knows our audience <laughs> will never. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, come on. All right, I'm right here. Are right. fans having girlfriends and boyfriends? Um, oh, Connor represents the everyman here. <laughs> He's the everyman. Listen, that's listen. a red flag. <laughs> listen, you know, it's easy to be like, I would never date someone who has this. Sure. The, you know, a lot of the time, life is a lot different than that. You don't. Yeah. You don't sometimes you date someone, you find out afterwards that they they like to think the world is flat. And, and then, you know, that's the kind of conversation you got to figure out afterwards. And I feel as well, like uh, flags change all the time, depending on what stage of your life you are. You oh know? yeah, like absolutely. Some things you can be way more tolerable Dude, about, is, other things you just like, I, what is this shit? Look how bouncy this thing is. Oh my Lord. It's, <laughs> The fuck? What you're, the like, heck? You're, you're like a little kid what now. The, about, uh, what what the hell? I mean, uh, what the hell? It's so bouncy. Ladies, <laughs> is that a red flag or a green flag? <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's, a, that's a beige Hold flag. That right beige flag. Pull right. it out of the dam. All right, all right. All right, all right. Let's see. All right, here we go. Our first one is- Are we writing it down then? Then. Yeah, we'll, we'll I'm gonna read it, it out okay. and then we write okay. it down really and then we'll reveal. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's our first flag. Our first flag is, has the food palette of a 12 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that just all of us? <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. Do not put words in my mouth, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Holy fuck. What, what, what does food palette of 12 year old mean? See, that's open for interpretation. <laughs> you can you can interpret that how way you want. How do I spell beige? Is that? Oh well, thanks God. for telling <laughs> us. Well, well, I just realized- B-E-I-G. <laughs> I wish I got that one on the spelling. I got that one right. Illiterate. <laughs> okay, we get it. Okay, we get it. All right, we get it. Yours is beige. All right, okay, ready? Okay. Let's reveal in three, two, one. It's a red flag. Red flag. Yeah. Why okay. is it a red flag? Okay. I mean, okay. I'm. Do we? I'm surprised not all of us wrote down. Actually, I'm not surprised. Come from that. <laughs> okay, first of all, beige. It's not. It's not a quirk. To it's not, not a fucking quirk. Eat anything. Everyone has a fucking quirk about something that's weird with their taste buds. That is. I that agree. is. That is not no, a no, no. weird thing. If we, you, you interpreted that in. The I get sense it. Gone. We're in trash days. <laughs> you interpreted that sentence as you have the power. Is aka okay, you have one thing you dislike. I don't think that's how I interpret. Yeah, what that. is your definition yeah. of uh, taste? Uh, what was it? I, I interpreted that as. They have the power of a 12 year old. Yeah, they have the power of a 12 year old. They won't eat most things. You go yeah. to a restaurant, they're not willing to try stuff. Yeah. You know, that's like a, a big yeah. part of for me is that I like being able to sit down and share meals with people. Yes. And if they're not willing to at least try certain things, hey, I get it. If you don't, you straight up don't like uni, you know you don't like uni and it comes out. Okay, that's fine. We get it, that. It is, this is linked to one of my biggest pet peeves, not yeah. just with partners, just with people in general. People mm -hmm. who, don't like put all of this judgment on something that they have little to no information or yeah. knowledge about and don't even bother trying to Okay, explore. but okay. Oh, cheers. I guess I guess there's like a way to interpret it, but how mm. picky are we like saying right now? How, how picky are we talking about? Well, right I, well picture your average 12 year old uh, at a restaurant or something, right? They're gonna probably pick the most, like when I was 12 year old, I wasn't fucking exploring food or They'll anything They'll probably like always that. eat the same thing. Yeah. They tend to be like, you know, ordering with them is uh, is never fun. Like I think a fun part of ordering is when, when we all go out, we're like, mm. what are you yeah. feeling? And yeah. we all just kind of try a bunch of things. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, I've never experience. tried that thing before. I'll give it a go. Sometimes you go out people and they're like, I will only eat this one thing. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. I mean, or, that's or fine. The, or but... they're like super specific about what they can eat because they're comfortable with it. And that's know? fine. Like as, as and that, <laughs> it makes it sound like we hate these people. I don't, it's not like nothing wrong with it, but it's like <laughs> for me, if I was to be with someone, yeah. that's yeah. something that I would care about yeah. is being able to share those foods. As someone who, uh, you know, famous Famously, fucks with everything in terms of food. You do fuck with too much, though. Yeah, I, like, yeah, yeah. I love that. There are some things you shouldn't fuck with, Joey. No, but like you know, for me, it's like if you tell me that if I go to a new country or something, and you and I see this like particular cuisine that I've never heard of, don't even know mm. what the hell it is, right? Because it might be in a completely different language. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Never seen anything like it before. If the locals tell me that it's good shit, it's edible. You know, it might differ. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Mm. That just piques my curiosity of being like, yeah. well, I want to try this thing out. I want to explore. You're always willing to try something. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. always so, willing to try something out before I judge something. You know? Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Then I, I would not be with someone if they weren't willing to like try other things. Yeah. yeah. Like what if What but, if Sydney only ate chicken nuggets, which is a because she's from Wisconsin, which is a possible time. Cheese line. curds. What if she only ate? Yeah, cheese she only curds. ate like cheese curds and fries. I've not met a single person that is as bad as what you guys are talking about, though. You've that, never met. Oh, I've met only, so many people. I have. Like I have that. not. I have not, like even even I'm going to like you know deep into like Wisconsin. People are willing to try. New things. 
things, you know, they they not, might not always like it, but mm. people are normally willing to at least try something to be like, nah, just give me a uh, burger and cheese and cheese uh, curds. I, I've met people who will only eat like fast food. Like yeah. They will not, out of preference, they just don't like anything else. Yeah. And, and they're not willing Look, to Look, I understand if American. like- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Most of the people, uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be like, because we hate on Americans so much. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's most of the time people I meet who are super picky yeah. are normally yeah. American. I, however, I have met a bunch of British people who also are fucked in this. I've met well. some Australians who are like this. You know, um, the way they're just like, they're just not okay. willing to try preference, anything. Preference to preference this, I'm also around Americans the most. I, yeah, I'm right. around more Americans than not. So yeah. I feel like this is also why my judgment is It's a bit skewed, yeah. Um, but like, you know, I, I get if like allergies are involved, right? Like obviously mm -hmm. you can't- Yeah, if you yeah. have a disease or yeah. you can't eat certain or, foods or if there's like something that is physically skin stopping issue. you from That's eating. <laughs> Or if there's something physically stopping you, like at a chemical level of you not being able to eat a certain thing. A okay. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> then, I then I understand. Your immune system just hates you. Yeah. It's then, just an immune then, diff. Then I get it. But like, if you look at this thing and you're just like, uh, the one thing I, okay, this is one thing that this pet peeve I hate the most is when something comes out and before they've even tried it, they go, what is that? <laughs> and then they try and know every single little detail. And then after hearing all the details, they're like, no, nah, I'm not going to try it. Okay. Like, but sometimes, sometimes there are things that, you, you know, you don't really have any interest in wanting to fuck with. <laughs> like, would you, would you feel that way if someone's like, now nah, I'm good. Never trying not to. Uh, no, I think, I think you should give anything a go. And if you don't like it, then now, you know, it's like you try yeah. it once you don't like it. Okay, that's completely fine that you don't like, I'm not gonna hate everyone who doesn't like Nato, obviously, yeah. but like, I'm gonna hate you even more if you say you don't like Nato without even trying it out. Because yeah. as we've found out, you used to not like Nato and then you tried it on After Dark and you fucked with there, it. There is some kind of like psychological thing there where you do, you you're like almost, fearing this food so much yeah. that mm -hmm. there's no possible part of your brain mm. that will allow you to think it tastes good or the texture is good or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think that's the thing, but yeah, I mean, if I go to a restaurant and like 50% plus of the things you don't want to eat or you're not willing to try, yeah. I'm like, okay, well then what, like, you know, because yeah, for me, that's a lot point, of, yeah. that's like how I, that's a lot of my downtime is like being able to share those. No, that time totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we're very fortunate we get to, we get to <laughs> go out. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I say this because, okay. So as long as they're willing to try things, that's why I, okay, I didn't, okay. I didn't put like, I didn't put like red flag because- mm, You put nothing, you put no flag. I, I guess- yeah, I You could have like, just put no flag. Okay, no, fl no you flag. You made it be like, oh, that's uh, a right. weird thing. Well, well, like, like, okay, <laughs> the way I interpreted that is like, taste buds of a 12 year old, right? Yeah. That means they just haven't gone out of their comfort zone for like a lot of things. Cause I remember when I first started dating Sydney, she had not really had anything but like American foods and yeah. she could not handle mm. spicy food like at all, mm. right? Yeah. So, you know, you could argue that she had not had a lot of different cultures food. And now like she eats spicier food than my mom because she started dating me. Okay, but me. spicy food, I think is a bit different because that's not a taste, that's a sensation. Maybe to a Japanese person, Joey. No, 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 Joey, no, no, Joey, no, 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 Joey, no, no, no. Joey, no. Joey. I think that is very different. I think in terms of the palate of a 12 year old is like, <laughs> We are really going into the definition. <laughs> of the no, 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 I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this one go. Yes, okay, Joey, scientifically, whatever, spiciness isn't a taste, all right, Joey, yeah. but you know, if if you can't have spicy food, um, like even to like just a little bit of a spicy food, me as a Thai, I'm gonna think right. that you're a little baby that can't eat uh, anything with a little hey, bit of spice. Look, I'm someone who got out of that comfort zone. I yep, used to yep. not be able to eat any spice growing <laughs> well, up. Well, spice is a gradual thing. It yeah, is, it, it is a gradual thing. And now I would say I'm into. pretty all right, you know, cocoa yeah. level, I can go up to a level okay. four now. No, because I'm like, proud of that. Because like, here's, here's the thing. Like, I think we like met someone about the, like that thought this earlier, mm. but it's not just the spice, yeah. but it's like how sensitive is your palate as well, right? right? So some people can't handle Southeast Asian food, for example, because it has like a very, very strong taste. Mm. Fucking love it. And, and you know, I love, I love it. it. Yeah. I, love I love it, it. right? But sure. Some Japanese people that I've met, and you know, some uh, some Westerners that I've met as well, that taste is just like <laughs> this. This is gonna sound so weird. There's just too much seasoning. <laughs> there is just too much seasoning. Yeah, and like to me, I'm like, on. and to me, I'm like, okay, that's the palate of a twelve year old. To me, as a Southeast Asian, are you, you know? are you referring to one of our staff going to Nando's for the first time the other day? <laughs> the, 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 like, maybe, but he is not the first person I've met that has said that. For context, <laughs> one of our Japanese staff here at. Uh, Trash taste. Uh, went to a Nando's the other day in the UK, and his review of Nando's was: "There's too much flavor." <laughs> yeah. 
That's fucked up. <laughs> Which is fucked, fucked up. up. That's fucked up to say. <laughs> so right. that's a skill issue. All right. Let's go. Let's do the next one. Go right. pull the next right. one. Yeah, next, pull the next one. one next one. I feel like I, I we just can't stand too long on the fucking twelve-year-old topic. Oh, it doesn't matter. We we can no, do I this know, for know, as long as we want to. Uh, is it a red or green flag when they don't use social media? Hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, Okay. Well, I'm no gonna flag. I'm gonna need context. I'm gonna need, I'm like I'm thinking about these and I'm like I, I need I need some I need some context. Okay. What what, what the fucking that is the context. <laughs> that is the context. What do you mean? They don't no use social, social media. media. Okay, is there no like- Twitter, no Instagram, no Facebook. Nothing. Nothing. What you can call social media, they do not use- The only them. thing okay. that I think I will like I, I I when I think of social media, I don't count stuff like uh messaging or like line, whereas yeah. it's strictly peer-to-peer -peer communication. Yeah. People, they yeah. can and text I, you, but, I, I but you can't find them on a website. I, I know that is, I know that is technically the definition of like social media or like social internet is, is talk peer-to-peer, -peer, yeah, okay. but I, I consider that as a completely different app. Yeah, but if yeah. you like, include that, then like snail mail is social. Yeah, media. right. Like, yeah, I, like yeah. I think no one, no one in their right mind, even though the definition includes all of these, like would compare like, uh, texting yeah. to being on Twitter. Yeah. Like it's, it's not like- yeah. specifically talking yeah. about social media websites. Okay, okay ready? Right. Three, Three, two, two one. one, beige. Oh, green. Oh, I, I decided to put green. I, th really? I was like- Listen, I, I'm terminally online. I I don't want someone who's also terminally online. Okay, yeah. so for me, this is, I, I thought about green at first because obviously we're in a position where like social, being on social media is part of our jobs, yeah. right? Like we yeah. kind of have to be on social media as public figures on the internet. But I think, I thought at first it might've been green because there might've been like a nice, like if your partner doesn't use social media, then that's a good excuse to like kind of lay low on the social media and kind of cool off on being terminally online all the time. Yeah. But at the same time, a lot of like my cultural references that I know, a lot of like memes <laughs> and stuff like that also comes from social media. So I, lo I love Would that. I be able to like, have a fun- Humor like, existed oh. before social media. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, yes, <laughs> but admittedly, a lot of that humor right. now is rooted in social media. I don't know, I think- I, I don't know, you, I I, don't know. that's like saying, hey, I can't get on with my parents because if I say among us, they're not gonna understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I would argue, actually, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing for your brain. Uh, I, I want my I, parents to know the I, among I, us I, meme. I pull the weight of three people's social media usage. I don't need <laughs> another person doing See, it. I don't know? even think you do. I'm like, a, I, dude, I'm there just, are there I'm are more people nowadays that are more terminally online than there are that are not. I think it's just like how you spend it online. Like I yeah, think yeah. I'm streaming all the time. It's yeah. just different hours. Like I, I don't, I don't actually have that much time to scroll mm, all the yeah. time, but I'm just always online in some capacity. So mm. I feel like I, I would like to get away from that when possible. Right. Yeah. I think, I think I put down beige because in the sense of like, oddity. I don't, yeah, it is weird in this day and age to quirky. not have it. Is, it. It, it is very quirky, quirky. They, right? They've had to make the, choice oh, to do it. Yeah, a little try hardy, if yeah. you ask me, right? Well, it depends how they're framing it. Like if yeah. someone's like, I'm not on social media and it's like- Okay, okay but do you know anyone around you who's not on social media? Uh, I know some people, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. How, I how, did, how do they like look at social media? Uh, just they just, negative. they just kind of, okay. They just kind of look at it as a negative and they just want to live in the moment, I guess that's what they said. Right. Uh, they I think they want to be more focused on the things that's immediately surround them mm. as opposed to what everyone else is doing. Yeah. Unfortunately, it makes it harder to get in contact with them uh, yeah. sometimes. That's like, I guess the biggest downside, but the reason I put green flag is because I was thinking about it and I was like, if someone told me they didn't use social media, can I think of any negative effects? Yeah, I, th that? I think there's no downsides no, I don't to really, not being on it. Yeah, I don't really see any downside to someone not being on social media. Well, it's just a lot of self-confidence generally, because right. you're not mm -hmm. on it. You're like, I feel confident in who I am. I don't need to be in this game of yeah. uh, yeah. of clout. See, because chasing. like that is definitely a good thing as well. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I think the benefit of, you know, a partner and you being on social media is that you can like, say for example, like, you know, something that everybody does nowadays, which is just like sharing memes or just like, bringing yeah, up I mean, yeah. something fun that you saw on social media or like something funny, like a funny video or like a funny Instagram. You also just video. show them on your phone. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like you're gonna show them memes <laughs> like, no, no, God, I'm allergic <laughs> to memes. I can't <laughs> look at Instagram. <laughs> but so like, you like, know, Indiana at the same Jones time- when it, skin fades <laughs> away. <like>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sun melting. Yeah. But I think, you know, I think the benefit of being on social media is, you know, again, it's totally depends on how you use it. But right. I think just having that like same, even just like baseline knowledge of how social media like memory works and how the internet works and stuff like mm. that, internet mm -hmm. culture works, is just a very nice way to be able to connect to your partner. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas mm -hmm. like, if you show them like a fucking meme on Instagram that has like 70 layers under it, which a lot of memes nowadays do have, then it's not gonna be really fun when you show them a meme and they're like, I don't get it. You know, it, yeah. it, it get, I think in the right. long run, it'll get difficult. So that's why I put page. Okay. Well, I think valid arguments all valid, around. Valid don't valid arguments. I don't agree. It's, a, but it's yeah. a personal thing, you know, it's whatever. I, I mean, I, I don't need memes to, I don't, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, there's more ways to connect to. If I don't show a meme a, a day, partner. I will die. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You, Joey's like, you do have the most extensive meme collection. I yeah, say, you do. Out of the three of us. M my, me? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, give up I on thought memes. it was you for I sure. I give up on memes a while back, actually. Really? Well, I keep up with them, but I don't, I don't collect or make note of them. <laughs> yeah. why, why is it assumed I that here, I collect here, memes? Here's the, no, you, you do keep track I of do not more. save memes for lot, like- You I, save memes, you, you share you, memes. You, you, you're, 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 you're a meme saver. Memes. Yes, you I are. Share you share memes. Yes, I don't, I don't them, share memes anymore, I gave up. <laughs> Right, because right. oh, that's yeah. just because I'm on Instagram. Yeah, I guess <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Mint Mobile. From billion dollar ad budgets and arena naming rights to tens of thousands of retail locations, big wireless providers spend big to appear like they're your only option. How do they afford it all? That big bill you get every single month. Mint Mobile though, has a different idea. Instead of brick and mortar overhead, Mint Mobile is online only. What does that mean for you? A whole lot of savings, that's what it means. Because wireless plans from Mint Mobile start at just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. I actually used Mint Mobile before they even sponsored us. When oh. I was in America for a few weeks, I wanted a cheap plan, so I wasn't spending a bunch of money for a SIM card that I wasn't gonna use for a lot. Uh, Fair enough. Um, and Mint Mobile just came up. It was super convenient because everything was eSIM, so I didn't have to wait in the post for a SIM to get sent to me, and it was super cheap as well. For anyone who hates their phone bill, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless, which is $15 a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash trash. That's mintmobile.com slash trash. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash trash. Back to the episode. What's all the right. next one? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Has uh, watched only basic anime, but says they are a, uh, says they are a weeb. Has, has watched basic anime. Has only says watched basic anime and says they're a weeb. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. I didn't know. I have to think about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's only one answer, right? Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. Right. I put green. <laughs> <laughs> we all disagree. Yes. Oh, Bro, I don't give a fuck. This, this just shows our personalities. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's like anime mentioned, red flag. I think red there are flag. a lot of very popular, quote unquote, basic anime out there mm. where you could actually be a weeb now and have only watched mm -hmm. like the well-known shows. Right. Yeah. Like, I think you can be into the anime aesthetic and everything that like about anime without needing to watch Serial experiment, Experiments Lane. Okay, yeah. but here's the thing. You, fucking... This is this is the insinuation that you use the word meme and uh, weeb in a positive way. Well, well, okay, I guess that's also a tough <sighs> I argument. I mean, that's, that's I mean, opening a can of referring words. Referring to yourself as a weeb, I guess. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm more like focusing on the kind of they, they, anime that, side That paper could have just said, calls themselves a weeb. It still would have been- <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess yeah. this is kind of not, yeah. a, very, it's yeah. not a great argument, yeah. but I think yeah. that it's whatever. Okay, the reason I put green is because I literally uh, have met somebody that's went through this exact scenario okay. to like a Ludwig team. Ludwig Hassan? Huh? Ludwig and Hassan? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, uh, it's a friend who's not, uh, he's not, you know, oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. he's not yeah. on social media. Yeah, he's not on social media. Which is a green flag, by basically, the way. <laughs> they 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 met a person, yeah. and this this person was one of my close uh, was one of my close friends, mm. and they're a massive weeb, right? Okay. They they went up through like they went through the phase where they kind of did the did the anime man thing, where mm. they watched every anime that came out in a season for right. like okay. years on end. That's fucked. Uh, and then they kind of burnt out of anime. Sure. And uh, it's just like me for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just like you for real. And they burnt out anime and they just stopped watching anime for a long time. Yeah. Kind of went on with life, got a job. And then they met their current partner mm. who was like, actually, I'm a weeb. 
I've yeah. watched My Hero Academia and, oh. one, and one Piece, <laughs> not knowing well, <sighs> that there's like a secret level 99 weeb standing right next to them. <laughs> and you know, part of the bonding session that they had and part of the reason why, you know, they kind of really got close together mm. was because she got to uh, introduce them to a bunch of anime, mm. uh, not realizing, <laughs> not like, and not realizing that, you know, they had, they were a really, really yes, big weeb. Is, is is One Piece considered normie now? Yes, oh, it is one hundred percent normie. Okay, normie yeah. Yeah. It is. It is okay. very very. Yeah. So you're a, you're a normie if you. That's such an horrible word. If you watch One Piece, you make sure. Okay. Why do you yeah. have to put so much emphasis on the n <laughs> normie? Normie. Yeah. So like the way I the way I interpret this that is that okay they're enthusiastic. Yeah. yeah they, they they're enthusiastic about anime and they've okay. only seen the basic anime. So you have the opportunity to be like the dichotomy of men. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you have the opportunity to be like. Babe, I can I can hope I can show you the world. I can show you the world, babe. Okay. Let me introduce you to right. a whole you, ton Joey, of shows. You to defend gatekeeping. Okay, right now. I will. <laughs> I will say that is a lovely story, but that is one very rare occurrence, in my opinion, of it just happening to work out. Right. Okay. Most of the time, right? "Quote unquote weebs who have only ever watched My Hero and One Piece are not that open to watching the weird shit. They're not. You don't need to watch the weird shit, Joey. Well, not Should even just every the- weeb have watched Evangelion. Why <laughs> Evangelion specifically? <laughs> it's a great barometer for this kind of question. I think, well, I've biggest noticed, Ava I've fan noticed that, trash like, taste, anime fans think? answer mm -hmm. very differently to this question. Um, I think every I think, yes. anime fan should watch Ava, yeah. not just to like- Can they call themselves an anime fan? I don't think they need to enjoy they Ava. Okay, of okay, course okay. they can. This is going back to the 12 year old power thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you, you need- Yeah, I didn't enjoy it You don't need much. to watch, yeah. you don't need to enjoy Ava, but you should watch it. Maybe, if you maybe I'm like a 12 year old. Yeah, like I like personally as an anime fan, I I think every weeb should watch Evangelion just to like, have an opinion on it. Yeah, it's, it's one yeah. of those anime where I'm like, it's such a different experience to everyone who it's watches it. It's like Breaking it. Bad of TV fans. I wouldn't call it that. Every, like Breaking <laughs> Bad is like way too critically acclaimed, you know? Is, it's, is Evangelion not? It's very polarized. <sighs> it's, what? I thought it's it was very, like very critically acclaimed though. Uh, it, I, think, I think it's critically acclaimed for the people who <laughs> love the show, but a lot of people suck. do not like the show. Yeah, And yeah. that's fine, but like, okay. I think for me, the reason why it's red is because I think the way that I, see and you know act uh okay. you know act around weebs or like talk to weebs is very different considering my background okay mm -hmm. because okay. like when whenever i think of like a stereotypical weeb like they don't even have to have watched only the basic shit right they could be the most like knowledgeable in anime but like when they <clears> think <throat> that they know a lot about like japan or like they know a lot about like japanese just because they've watched a couple hundred shows of anime couple that, hundred yeah even a couple hundred that to me <laughs> is just racist where are we going whoa, with this? Whoa, people, whoa. people who only watch anime, consume anime, even the most basic shit, and just think to themselves like, yeah, I know so much about Japan. Oh, so I know you're, so you're, much you're about like, Japanese you're culture. You're like in, in uh, interpolating the definition of weeb as being like probably like um, a, well, I guess a weeb is technically like a Japan. Yeah, it's a yeah, Japanophile. Like, that's yeah, what yeah. a weeb is in the in the I've, traditional sense. And that's how I, I didn't do think this about question. that angle. Yeah. Right, like it would have like, oh my God, if if Aki fucking came up to me every day and started going, yeah, ooh, ooh, and then just started doing some like made noises shit, I would fucking kick her out. Like that shit would be so goddamn annoying. And there wouldn't be any room for talking about, <laughs> hey babe, have you watched Evangelion? Because I wouldn't fucking even ask that question. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess if you're Japanese, it's a bit different. I guess I, I guess like, the, I did not, I did like not the, take that the plot twist of us talking about anime and yeah. Joey just goes, racism. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh my God. It is. Uh, I mean, okay. I, 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 yeah, I'm not Japanese, count, count, so I can't like, take that argument. Yeah, me. I mean like, I, like as a counter argument, right? I think that like you're taking like, I guess the, Mid two thousands definition of like weep. Okay, I love what's that. The, what's I the love 20 that. <laughs> I love that nuclear response to it. That was great. This is what, kind of content I'm, we yeah. need to keep this podcast alive. I'm, right? I'm like, I'm, I somehow I have to argue against racism here, but no. I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but hang on, <laughs> but hang on, Joey. Okay, what is the okay? Okay, admittedly, yes. My my definition of weeb is like the fucking Yowie okay. paddle era of weeb. Yeah, right. Yeah. What is the what? Is, what would you say is the twenty twenty three definition of weeb? Um, weeb is. Uh, I, th I think like the English language words always change. I think yes. weep has changed. Oh, yeah. Weep doesn't mean somebody who's a Japanese. For, for me, someone who has watched a a lot of anime, this 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 says someone who's only watched basic anime. Yeah. 
if someone's watched a lot of anime, they would never call themselves a weeaboo unironically, okay. right? Because they know about the anime culture. Yeah. When I they know when what I hear, that word means. When I hear the statements, has watched only basic anime, at, but says they are a weeb, yeah. that means they are kind of just in the entry level anime community kind yeah, of thing. That, that paper should say, and says they're a weeb, not <laughs> but says they're a weeb. <laughs> yeah, I mean- those kind of go hand in hand. I yeah. mean, I, I would say if you call yourself a weeb, um, and you've watched any basic anime, you are just probably heard that as a buzzword somewhere on the internet. And sure. you're like, oh, okay, you're just- Probably. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. All right, let's do another take then. All right. All right. <laughs> Where do we go I from racism? For, dude, I can't wait for the next take. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're just waiting for my bombastic- I love it, I love it, dude. This is, I, I'm so glad someone else is doing it for once. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I don't think about swinging. We need to keep this podcast interesting. Yeah. All right, next take. Red flag, green flag, or beige flag. Uh, Hasn't watched any classic movies. Uh, this oh, is- I don't know how I feel about this. I'm a really big film guy. You guys know I oh, love I, 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 I think all three of us love film. I'm, I'm, I'm a big film guy as well. We're, we've all seen a lot of movies. So I think mine is pretty straightforward. Yeah, mine, mine's straightforward as well. I just saw your answer gone, what the fuck? It's also, it also depends on how you define classic movies. As well. Classic movies, Godfather. Okay, classic IMDb movies. I'm going to be talk. IMDb top fifty. Okay, all right. All right. Ready? Three, three two, two, one. I said none. Yeah, none. I don't think it's anything. Yeah. I think it's whatever. Green. Yeah. Wh- what the fuck? Hold is on. Gr- you're gonna have to. You think it's good that they haven't watched the? Cl- yes. It's a great trait to have. I I think it's a fucking great trait just because you get to, like like it's it's very similar to the anime thing where you get to show them something mm-hmm. and part of, like part of you're assuming that they're already down to watch them. Yeah, now. what if they're not down to yeah, watch Yeah, what if it? they don't want to watch them? I what mean, if the reason- old, gone. Yeah, what if the reason why they haven't watched these classic movies is because years ago they looked at the IMDb top 50 and they're like, ah, oh, they're all, they look old and boring. I mean, that that was not said on the piece of paper. To me, okay. if, well, if, we, if someone- if someone, You're assuming that they are, they, they, they are want to watch them. Hmm? And they'll watch them with yeah, you. Yeah, Garn is very optimistic yeah, you're about it. Yeah, super optimistic like- about all these prompts. <laughs> okay, I, I'm super, I'm super optimistic. Like I can change them. <laughs> I can fix them. <laughs> I'm, I'm super optimistic because uh, I just love, like, not even like with your partner, but like with any friends or family that mm. I have. Plenty of family members who you know have not watched x thing or have no experience x thing and part of that Cut especially if it's a partner mm. i i like to me it's a green flag because i assume if we're partners right mm. that's part of part of being a partner is that even if you're not necessarily interested oh. in a topic that you're you know that before you met your partner mm. that you want to explore it with them like right. for me i do not give a shit about horror movies mm. for example but i still will sit down with sydney and watch some horror movies and i'm happy just seeing the stuff that she's passionate about even though i'm not i'm never going to be as passionate about it right but again you're you're looking at this like you know fictional relationship that you have with this partner yeah. as a very optimistic thing of like, they're just kind of down for everything. And the only reason they haven't watched these classic movies is because they've just never given the opportunity. Well, why are you, why are you being pessimistic, Joey? What's wrong with being a little bit optimistic about assuming God, the best of intention, God, Joey? Because life's a bitch. <laughs> it doesn't work out that way. It's not all candy and rainbow. Sometimes there are people who are just so up in their own head where they look at some, they look at these like movies like Godfather, like Apocalypse Now, like Goodfellas. And they're just like, oh, it's old. And and it was made before my time. Not interested. I don't care. I'd rather watch the next fucking Avengers movie. I'd yeah. the FNAF film. I'd rather watch the FNAF film. You to, know? to me, if 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 the paper said that uh, they've watched a bunch of classic films mm. and they do not care for them, that would be like a different answer for me. What would that be for you? Uh, for me, no. For me, that would be more like more beige nun. Put that you know? Like to me, that doesn't, signify a relationship. Mm. But to me, if I know someone has not seen the same things that I'm interested in, I see that as an opportunity to be like, oh, okay, we can possibly bond together or I can show you stuff that I'm passionate about and yeah. I'm interested in, and we don't necessarily need to enjoy the same things yeah. to have a good re- good working relationship. So- Because you could reframe this with anything. Like yeah. um, they haven't read the classic books. They haven't right. read, watched the 
K K drama series, the classics. Well, well that's why I mean? like, that's I think, why I said none though in this yeah. case because it's like it can really go both ways, yeah. and if you kind of average that all out, it does become a non flag. Yeah, I think it's whatever. Like I think yeah. there's a reason why you haven't consumed that media. And there's it's, lots of people yeah, out there. It's I'm, I just like to see the good in people. I like to assume the <laughs> best right, guys. Right. You're like, God, it's, like right. it's great because then I can share it with them again. <laughs> so, that is great. <laughs> All right, all right, pick one. Pick one, pick one. All, right, all right, sorry, all right. ladies, Gaunt's taken. <laughs> all right, is Gaunt just gonna write green for everything? <laughs> all right, what's the next one, Gaunt? Doesn't watch a show if it's popular. <laughs> okay. All right. Why are you guys laughing? <laughs> no reason. No reason. No reason, no reason Joe. All right. I got mine. <laughs> All right. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Beige. <laughs> I mean, I think, it's a, I think it's a bad trait to have some much. I say. mean, if, if, if you're just judging things based on its popularity, uh, then like you're not coming into this with a f open mind. You're coming in this with pre conceived. You're just a hater. You're yeah, a hater. Yeah, you're just you're just a hater. You know what? And you think so you have better taste and more superior <laughs> taste. Mr. I'm, not, I'm not speaking on behalf of anyone, but if I was someone like that, uh, you think of as an oddity? I, I think it's just a bit weird. And there's, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a red flag. It's just got, a what bit if, weird. What if, uh, you know, we were dating Joey and I was super happy to watch this new show called Arcane with you. Yeah. And I was telling you about how I was super excited for it. Yeah. And you're like, no, we're not watching it. No. I'll watch it like five years later. <laughs> no. Okay, well, it's, we're getting you know, there. I'm okay, uh, we, do you promise to watch Arcane in three years? No. Wait, you just said you'll watch it five no. years later. No, just some amount That's of years later. That's my red flag. Yeah. That's my red flag. Dude, I'm currently watching fucking Stranger Things because I'm finally getting around to finishing it and it's great. All right, all right, I'll pick yeah. up. All right, all right, all right. Uh. Well, I know Felix has my back. I'm not the only one. <laughs> I'll say that to Felix as well, Joey. It's okay. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Vessies. All right, so I was taking a walk the other day yeah. and you know, it had been raining a bit, but I didn't pay much attention. And then I just stepped into the biggest puddle oh. of all time because I wasn't looking where I was Classic walking. Gone Wet socks are the worst. But you know what? It was okay because <gasps> I was actually wearing my vessies. So <gasps> my feet were bone dry. That's right. Rain, sleet, snow or shine. It doesn't matter. Vessies is perfect for any occasion during any season. And mm -hmm. they've come out with some absolutely amazing stuff. I mean, oh. You guys know Trash Taste, we're massive fans of vessies. We only wear vessies. Look at this amazing Soho sneaker. Well, Connor, I know you are absolutely going to fall in love with these because they are 100% waterproof with Dymatex technology and a synthetic leather exterior. These are some simple shoes, perfect for any occasion. But Joey, they also have the Ulta right here. That's right. These are a little bit better for the colder times of the year. So if you want to look fly as hell in the snow, then you better grab yourself these Ulta shoes. It also seems that I'm wearing some Vessi gloves too. <laughs> I also have this coat. Oh, Zoe, it just oh. keeps coming. And it's flexible <laughs> and stretchy stop. and breathable. You kind of stop, they Connor. They don't miss. So if you're eager to snag the best deals in footwear, go to Vessi.com slash Trash Taste right now because they have a big sale going on. The sale is going on from the 17th of November to the 27th of November. So get on it now, lads. Mm. Back to the episode. All right, what do you, what do you got? What do we got? Big piece of paper. We should probably audibly say what we have out so <laughs> the audio listeners can uh, yeah. keep up. Well, that's what I've been saying. Uh, uses astrology unironically. Uses astrology <sighs> unironically. Okay. God, I'm so glad I'm taken. I would, I probably seem like the most unattractive person right now. You know what you want, Jerry. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong All with right. that. I know you what know? I want. All right, say what your answer is on three, two, one, red. 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 Yeah, we can all- Okay. Look, this is, this is just a dude answer. I, I, I think every I, single dude watching this episode right now can agree. Sorry, ladies. It's just like when something goes wrong and then someone tells me, yeah, it's just not a good month for Leos. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I will, I will kill you. And then they'll be like, that is what a Leo would say. I'm like, I will, I, I cannot express how much I hate yeah. that you think that one in twelve people are exactly the same I just, and can be interpreted yeah. by the movements of fucking science. I just start belly laughing like that. It's it's some of the funniest pseudoscience out there, and I really hope it doesn't stop because it never it's, gets. It's old. also just frustrating to for me when I feel like 
it is okay to admit that we just don't know things yeah. as, mm-hmm. a, as a population that we just don't have it figured out. Yeah. And, and I hate that it is trying to give some agency to give people a, a feeling that they know it. But I feel like knowing nothing is better than knowing something completely incorrect. Yeah. People mm-hmm. are weird and there's no rhyme or you know, reason to it sometimes. And you, yeah. you, you can't like, you can't pigeonhole them into like a specific like trait or month or whatever. Yeah, it like, is that's annoying. That's just not it how annoying. it works. Yeah, I mean, there's like different levels of this because there are some people that base their entire lives around astrology. If you, if you astrology, want to do it for yourself for fun, but if yeah. you start bringing it into every Don't conversation- Don't bring other people into it, that yeah, shit. You start my life into it, totally. I'm done. I, th- I think totally. the important word here is uses astrology unironically because I know plenty of people that just like to have fun with it. And that's fucking fun. Oh, I know? love using it ironically because it pisses people off. <laughs> yeah. And it's so funny seeing their reactions because it's like, that's how I react when some, someone says it unironically. Yeah. And it's really funny. Yeah, I think uh, if, if you <laughs> if you use it and you're not like pushing that shit on me, it's fine. Yeah. But um, I also yeah. don't want you to, I also get concerned if like your life is going to shit and you're like, well, I guess it's just because Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's it's like I, th- I think like the planet doesn't give a shit about your feelings. Yeah, for, for me like the like the male equivalent to like astrology is just the fucking like stock bros and crypto bros who are, who are just sure. like yeah. Sure. <laughs> listen, it's, it's, listen, it's, dudes, it's, we we've been very harsh. This is a very generally female uh, female such a horrible word. Uh, you know, leaning towards more uh, feministic kind yeah. of. Leanings. At least in our experience. Yeah. yeah, we could have been like, oh, they trade stocks. We've been like fucking red, green, bro. That's so <laughs> Sick, yeah, right. I've, I've had a bad day. Bitcoin went down two points. You know, yeah, yeah. I think that yeah, we we we've been, we've been, we've been. we we have we have our own vices as well yeah. that are equally as I think red flaggy. For uh, sure. But yeah, shout out you, to the dudes who use astrology, by the way. No, no, hey, you are you are the minority, and uh, it's hilarious. Okay. Keep, please keep doing it. Just let's uh, let's not use it unironically. Let's just keep it for fun, like any kind of like poke like personality right. test yeah. or anything like that. Rip it, Jay. That's, that's what like kids who are getting bullied at school she used to retort. Okay, yeah. well, I don't, <laughs> why am I being it's bullied, like you're daddy? Me because <laughs> well, it's because you're a Leo. Right? Yeah, it's because that's, that's a real Leo energy you're giving me right now. Yeah. You need to stop. All right, next one. Uh, <laughs> uh, having an obsession, example, Disney adult. Any obsession? It, okay, yeah. We, the Disney adult, uh, so an adult obsessed with Disney is an example, but just having an obsession. Well, well oh, okay. okay. How do we want to do this? I, can we stick to just Disney? Please? Okay. All right. uh, being a Disney adult. Because obsession, flag, everyone flag. has an obsession. Yes, of yeah. course. But we're talking about specific okay. obsessions here. Let me yeah. rephrase then. Green flag, red flag, Disney adult. <laughs> I, I don't know why I did this. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what I just did by accident. Um, oh, okay, God. so. So the, que- the the question now is, is a Disney adult a red flag? Is a Disney f- adult a red flag yeah, or a green, green flag, flag for or, you or as a partner? Or a beige Bro, flag. Bro going to be in the gallows if he answers this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Three, right. two, one. Red. red. What? What the Joey? fuck is it actually a <laughs> fucking Disney adult? <laughs> Aki is not a Disney oh, adult. Oh, no, she is. No. Oh, she's a Joey. Disneyland every goddamn no, way. Joey, how many times Your Honor, <laughs> objection. I see, bro. I'll pull up her Instagram right now. Was she within Disney in the past week? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Your Honor, I rest my case. But I will come here to defend my girlfriend. First of all, she only goes to Disney a couple of times a year. Objection, <laughs> copium, Your Honor. Which I think is fine. I know because that's the days I avoid. Second of all, she's not a Disney fan. She's a Kingdom Hearts fan, which automatically- Objection, makes it's you worse. <laughs> Objection, <laughs> it's worse, Your Honor. Agreed. I will agree on that. But I think like my definition of a Disney adult, right? And mm-hmm. I've met some actual Disney adults are people who like, say for example, you live outside of the States, you go to California, right? There's a all Disneyland right. there. Yeah. Perfect. If you're in Disneyland every single fucking day or multiple days in a row, that's a Disney adult, I think. Where like everything around your house is Disney themed. You only watch Disney movies. You like deep dive into like the Disney lore. And there are lots of people like that. To me, that's a red flag. I think there's nothing wrong with liking Disney. There is. Or like liking Disney movies. There I is. like a lot of Disney movies. And you know, I don't like Disneyland in general just cause I don't like amusement parks, right? Mm-hmm. But I think liking Disney, there is nothing wrong with. A Disney adult is something on another level. Okay, what if, okay, okay, but Aki is like- It is not copium, Aki, I this, swear. This is I, the uh, Charlie Day image of Joey. Like, let me explain to you why Aki is not a Disney adult. Aki is not a Disney adult. Listen. She I, would be offended if you called her a Disney adult. But, 
she could <laughs> become one very easily. Yes, though. which is why I'm here to stop her. Okay, okay. okay I'm okay. showing her so, classic yes. movies. <laughs> you would be you would be unhappy with Aki if she went further down the Disney path. Yeah, and she knows okay. that. What's, and what's, that's what's, why what's she's, the breaking point? You've, you've, had this <laughs> you've had this comment, honey. You uh, have to stop. Yeah. No, I straight up said to her, I'm like, you can go to Disneyland with your friends. That's fine. Just chill out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Watch a couple That's of other movies. Yeah. Warnings, boundaries have been yeah. I've okay. said, look, I'm a very straightforward person. If I think you're going to become a Disney adult, I will tell you. Um, yeah, I mean, my reasoning is that like, I don't like Disney. I don't like what they do. That's fair. Uh, I think that basing your whole personality around their movies is a, a vapid way to spend your life on I this, agree. On this, mm -hmm. on yeah. this planet. Um, Which Aki does not. But, she has a lot of other likes and wants and you know, a lot of other obsessions. Disney you know, is just one of them. Am I one to talk? I played League of Legends for six, seven years. So I, maybe I shouldn't, that, that would definitely be a red flag yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, that but is a red flag. I, I just don't like how Disney does what Disney does. Uh, and I think that what do people, mean? I hate how they do business. I hate it. They're a, they're they're a corp, evil corporate they're evil, entity. Bro. They're so evil. They're so, and they, they, they dominate. They, they well, fuck what, people over. But I, 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 I well, Disney also, was also, a straight up. Also, the new new movies suck. I'm just gonna say it right now. All yeah. the movies suck. Yeah. Yeah. Live action remakes that they keep pushing. I'm not a fan. Agreed. Can we stop doing this? Agreed. Yeah. Not a single one of their remakes have been good. Uh, I think they're terrible. All all they've been doing. I hate Disney Plus. I hate everything it stands for. I think we have too many subscriptions. Uh, and I'm glad that they lost the rights to the cricket in India. So they, <laughs> they so they lost that did market. They actually? Yeah, they did. They had big Could, you, w could you imagine you wanted to watch cricket in India? You got to fucking sign up to Disney Plus. <laughs> Um, I, I You're just, watching the Disney channel. I just hate Disney. Uh, I think that fifth innings, like, so. I, I, I don't know, man. They, they just feel like a bully as well as a mm. company. Oh yeah. The fact that they wouldn't let a guy famously have a Spider-Man tombstone for his, his uh, young kid who died mm. uh, of a disease and they, they gave him a cease and desist to remove the Spider-Man. Wait, do they actually? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, they, that's fucked up. Um, I feel like they're just cruel. And I don't like Disney's company. And then I feel like basing your whole personality off of just a company is bizarre. Yeah, that is true. Would that you say true. the same thing about Nintendo though? 100%, yeah, Nintendo adults are like a different breed. They're like the same kind of thing. <laughs> like if you like, like if you are unironically like Kirby, you should wow. end your life. <laughs> wow. You should not be allowed to vote. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm kidding, you know, I'm kidding. Okay, Nintendo so, uh, Bros and uh, Disney princesses listen, have uh, listen, a, lot, a lot in common, you listen, know? Let me, okay, let me say one word. <laughs> Maybe and, they should end up with each other. Me, okay, there is one thing that so you can- So bullies, pick, no, no, red on. flag or green flag? <laughs> Nintendo with their, their happy-go-lucky suing uh, is, is encroaching on like Disney levels. Oh look, not dude, worse. as mm -hmm. a Nintendo fan, there I said it. As a Nintendo fan, I think that's also fucked up. And yeah. I absolutely do not stand by that. I think, you know, the fact that they are incredibly hypocritical with that shit as well. You know, mm -hmm. like the fact that like the Wii Virtual Console, like retro games later found out to all be emulated. Yeah. Well, yeah, they-, they And they just straight uh, up used re people's emulations. They re-uploaded somebody's emulation of the original Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, onto on, the Wii Virtual yeah. Console, which yeah. I think was just absolutely <laughs> hilarious. Uh, so I think, yes, as a company, I think Nintendo has done some really yeah. shitty things, continues to do some really shitty things. I just fucking love their games. No, their games are great. And yeah. that's, that's, that's the same I, Disney I, I, I don't. Thing. I don't think a lot of Disney like adults think that deeply about it. I'm sure even some of them are like aware of the but business I, practices. Yes. But I think if you're gonna sign your life away and your whole personality to a brand, you should at least be aware of the brand. Oh, for sure. And I think Nintendo, it's that constant like, you're like, God damn it. He, he's a dick, but man, he, he's so fun to have around. <laughs> you know, that's the vibe Nintendo gives off. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's the reason why everyone, right. and the games right. are great. Yeah. My and answer's not that deep. I was just like, I've just never liked Disney stuff. So I'm probably not going to vibe with this person if they're going to be a life partner. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people who yeah. also base the whole personality around Disney are a little bit obnoxious sometimes too. Yeah. But I also know some Disney adults who are absolutely chill and very nice people. Oh, but yeah. I just, personally. No, absolutely. And but, I think okay. like, again, also, there's nothing wrong with being a Disney adult as long as you actually have some like other things to fucking talk about. It. Obsession should be in moderation, wh whether it be Disney, whether it be Nintendo, whatever it might be. And uh, yeah. if you really, really like Disney, but you also like a lot of other things, which Arky does, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard to draw a line of where but that's not a Disney adult. Listen, there's a reason why we have the word Disney adult. Yeah. Everyone knows what that means yeah. because that someone is someone who only likes Disney. There's no, there's no anime adult. There's no uh, JoJo it's called adult. A weeb. Yeah. yeah, but a weeb. Uh, <laughs> weeb's too, no, weeb's are, are not we the, not anime adults? No, because it's a, it's a different vibe. The word Disney adult gives us a very different feeling to the word weeb. <laughs> it's awesome.
Yes, Disney adult is, I would always consider it very when negative. You, is it because when you say the word weeb, you imagine like a 12 year old? A weeb, you just imagine like someone who's a casual anime fan. Like when I hit Disney adult, I think I picture the Karen cutting in line, just being like, this is the perfect route to the Disney theme park. We have to do this. No, that's just a Karen who's <laughs> in wow, Disney. That, no, that's Disney <laughs> yeah, too, though. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I guess we kind of like narrowed down the wording of this, but yeah. I guess a lot of what we said could be applied to anyone with like a obsession. massive obsession mm. yeah, in but general. I, I guess right? the, the, the general thing is that this more is well known with Disney adults. Yes, than yeah. Disney they fans, are the right? loud minority yeah. for sure. Well, I don't know about minority. There's a lot of them. <laughs> well, in the grandest scale, Someone, of the someone's human, buying these turkeys. On the grandest scale you know of I mean? the human race, they are the minority. So. All right. Well, let's do the All next right. one. This episode is sponsored by Holtzgun. Founded as a small family business in Austria, all of their products are partially made from natural materials. Their grains Ooh. allow for every product to be truly unique. They started with watches and then extended to jewelry, sunglasses, and a whole lot more. I mean, check out these watches right here. All Very of the sunglasses that. Con Where did you get that from? Sorry, guys. I'm cool with my purse as well. Ooh, oh my look God. at that purse. That purse is made entirely Wooden. from wood. Yeah, honestly, I love a lot of these jewelries and the watches. If you want to get a bit of wood in your lives, guys, look at look at how look at this stuff. And ironically, though, my favorite is the purse. Yeah, that that's just really sick. Yeah. If you want like a nice like Christmas gift uh, for your significant other, that's a little bit different from the norm. Why not get them one of these? Ooh. Holskern is doing a Black Friday special from November 14th until November the 20th. If you buy one, then you can get one more at 50% off. Oh my Ooh. gosh. So if you want to get some uniquely designed pieces that have a bit of nature on yourself, you should go and get some Holskern. Head on over to holskern.com slash trash taste. That's holskern.com slash trash taste. Links in the description below. All right, what'd you get, Gump? All right. Uh, never been in a long-term relationship. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Wait, this, Ooh. this, this, ch like, if, <sighs> if they're like 18, you're like, well, good. <laughs> <laughs> if they're like 50, you're like, okay. Never been in a long-term relationship. Yeah, the age, okay, okay. age matters so much. Let's, let's, yeah. let's our age now. Okay, okay, let's assume from now on that- What's this, our median age? This, this, is, this is something that we are finding out on a first date. That okay. we're on. I think I'm medium right age, now. right? So it'd be like 29. Let's we'll say 30, 30, right? Let's say 30. 30. Yeah, say 30. Yeah. Okay, 30 years old, never been in a long What are we considering relationship. long? What is long? What is the definition of a long relationship? I'd say like a year. A year plus? Yeah. A year okay. plus, at least a year. Yeah. Okay. Um, ooh, that's an interesting one. Never yeah. been in a long term relationship. And we're not counting someone who's just never been in a relationship in general, right? Uh, are we counting that? Because I feel like I, I, I mean. Like you can I, have a 30 year old who's never been in a relationship. I think it's. I think actually that's very different though. Being in many relationships as yeah. opposed to being in that's non. That's what I'm saying. So like, are we including that? No, I wouldn't include okay, that. Okay, so I would they've assume... been in relationships before, but none of them have lasted longer than a year. I'm going, yeah, I'm going into this that because they've never had a long term, which okay. implies they've had okay. relationships. Okay, but, um, sure. Okay. Um, oh, this is tough. Okay, I'm gonna <sighs> go. Never been in a long term relationship. What's the body count? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can discuss this. What's the body count? What's the body count? What's the body count? We can discuss uh, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm okay. kidding. All right. uh, this is tough. Yeah, this is hard. All right, um, all right. Let me, let this me, is I, a very, very nuanced argument. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Okay, I think I got my answer. All right, Connie got yours. Okay, ready? I'm Three, sure. two, one. I said none. None. I said red. You said red. Okay. Well, well let's let's start off with you're you. You're 30 years old. <laughs> yeah. Presumably, you've been in multiple. This is all the things I'm presuming. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming before we start. Yeah. You're 30 years old. You've been in multiple relationships. Mm. None have made it to a year. Yeah. Um, who's the common denominator here? What if that person, say, example, your partner, right? What yeah. if she was just with seven really shit boyfriends? I think the odds of that happening are so much lower mm. than you would. I think, listen, it, I hate to be this person. If, you, if you've if you been with seven shit people, I think you're the shit person in the- Yeah, in, you're that, the, that is true. You know, true. like think about it. Like whenever you hear about someone, cause I think we all have that one friend who mm -hmm. has been in so many relationships, but mm. never had something solid. And you're yeah. like, you're like, after a while, you're like, man, there must be something that you're kind of like n not, giving here or mm. not understanding about a relationship that I think is give and take. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of people, you just sometimes, you people in life who just aren't very good at like compromising and, mm. and doing that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, I can change them. 
<laughs> That's <laughs> why I wrote none. <laughs> Listen, I think I think in non- like, after I, me, I, baby, you uh, won't need I, 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 I wasn't the common denominator. I, I think, actually, I think non <laughs> is a safe answer, but I'm I'm trying to be <laughs> no. like I'm trying to stir a conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the equal side. <laughs> <in this fucking laughs> I'm, I'm thinking like from my perspective, if they've never been in one, I would be like, okay, I want to know what's going on here because yeah. yeah. I think it's a red flag as in like, not like this is bad. I'm not going to talk to them more. Like, yeah. this is something that I want to kind of pick their brain about more and figure mm. out what's happening here. Okay, that, if that I was makes into sense. That. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, it would definitely be something that I would want to know about their past relationships mm-hmm. and like what happened yeah. so that I can figure out like, oh, okay, this could be an issue going forward or like, I can understand that they weren't willing to compromise on this or they could tell you about the person. Cause some people generally have just been with awful people. Yeah. And, yeah. and they've been in all, like I, you know, I've been in a bad relationship for a long time. You just get stuck in these things, but I think I, I'd love to talk about it more. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I think say red, but it's, it's not really. That yeah. And I think that. that's why I said none. Cause like it really it's is like a, a pink a, flag. It's, you know? <laughs> it's not red as in like, I'm not doing it, but I'm like, I definitely want to know what's up. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's, it's, it's such a case by case scenario. Yeah, with like every single person. There, there right? is, it, there is this like doesn't capital who have not dating at all by the way. Yeah, yeah. This, like if I hear that, it's kind of like it does raise a flag. It raises the flag of like context. What's what's the context? Yeah, what's going this? on here? Yeah, mm. um, because it could it could be none, and uh, you know it could be green, it could be red. We don't yeah. know what the context of. It can really slant on the entire spectrum. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> You can really <laughs> slant on the entire spectrum depending on like, you know, some, sure, you know, in a very low, you know, case scenario, it might just be the fact that they just got really unlucky with their partners who were mm. all shit. Or the more common scenario is that they're shit, right? I mean, yeah, relationships are tough. A lot of the time you're probably just doing something small that, that adds up over time. That's well, how it's all it about goes. just yeah, like making about communication. Right? Yeah, communication, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, Absolutely. I, I, it's all about communication. I, I think like a, another reason why it might not mean anything at all. It's just like maybe their previous relationships they just weren't at the right stage of life it's to really fully people. commit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. some people are just like, actually, I want to commit to uh, my career right now, yeah. and yeah. I don't have time for relationships. Go out and there, then, find yourself. You know. Yeah, yeah, and then totally. they they reach an age. Maybe it's because I'm like a thirty year old. So if I hear that, I'm like, okay, this is about the age that I've met around my friends, where people are like, something like switches in their brain to be like. All right, maybe I should start. But you realize, about- you know, you gotta start. You gotta start figuring this shit out soon if you <laughs> if you want to um, have children because you know you, yeah. you know once yeah, yeah. you get past forty, it becomes uh, kind of kind For of sure. tough. Yeah. So you gotta sure. you gotta start figuring that stuff out pretty soon. Absolutely, um, yeah. It's part of the bin. All right. The, the well, that one was a, that one. There was no definite answer in that one. Yeah. But good. Open. I'd want to talk about it. <laughs> we we got we got to talk it about it. It was a good it. discussion. Call me Phil the Frank because I want to jump right into it. I'm like, <laughs> let's figure out what's going on. <laughs> All right. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. Let's talk about it. (laughs) All right. Next up. What do we got? Uh, Believes in superstitions. Ooh. Believes in superstitions. Mm. Um. Jeez. I guess this is to like what extent? I feel like some everyone has like a one superstition they believe yeah. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you're like, let's let's say we're gonna assume this is like they are very into superstitions. Very into superstitions. I would say more than normal. Okay, right. then my answer is gonna change. Because I think everyone has like a what's lot. More, of, what's more than normal? Name me a scenario. You you are just never gonna feel good about someone opening an umbrella inside. And that's oh, a superstition, right? right. right? Like you try and open up an umbrella inside. They're like, no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, But like, that's a normal, it's generally quite normal in Western countries. Yes. Yeah. So that's more of like a conditioning thing than as opposed to like actually believing that something horrible is about to go okay. wrong. Yeah. So but I think that, yeah. So basically- I thought it was like ghosts and all shit. Japanese Superstitions? <laughs> yeah. Superstitions means- no, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, superstitions means like you believe in something that might happen when there is no physical evidence yeah, like for it. Yeah, like step on a crack, break your mother's back. Break your mother's back. Which is you know. absolutely ridiculous. They could have yeah. chosen something better. But hey, I used to believe that shit <laughs> when I was like four. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. I think, I think we're all going to say the same thing here. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Beige. beige. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's just beige. a quirky thing. I, no. I don't have a lot to say about this other than sure. This is just all Japanese people. Yeah. They, yeah, this they, is just, Japanese people this is believe just culture and surrounding way too much yeah. Uh, yeah. to the point where like, you know, I could be at my aunt's house. I try and open up an umbrella and she'll be like, oh, don't think that's a good idea. And I'm like, well, yeah. why? I mean, I mean, I mean, this is, <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of Asian households. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of it, weird whatever, Asian yeah. superstitions. I don't know how many Western superstitions there are. Aside from, you know, uh, step on a crack, break your mother's back. Uh, I remember that one. one. Uh, uh, 
what is it, a ladder and doors? No, oh, no, no. 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 If, a, oh, uh, if a black cat crosses your path, then it's bad luck or something. Yeah, oh, I thought I was like Asian. Walking underneath a ladder or walking something. Walking underneath a ladder is oh, just general okay. smart safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I wonder where the black cat came from. Because, like, I think it just came from the idea of like, you know, uh, at least in Japan, I think where it came from was like, you know, a black cat is the same color as a crow and crows are usually not a great symbol. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like symbol of death and stuff like that. So yeah. I think it's just- that. I, I feel like- also, also, you know, cats, I think were always like just a target for superstitions ever since like, you know, people used to call each other witches back in the day. Be like, yeah. oh, you own a cat, you must be a witch. Cause mm-hmm. I feel like all, all superstitions come from somewhere. Yeah, you know, because yeah. like I don't know if it, okay, here's usually his, from someone just smoking here's, crack. Here's the here's up, the thing, know? like I don't, <laughs> no, no, I don't think every superstition came from like, smoking crack. A lot of it. Here's the thing, like I don't know if there's been like something that's conditioned into me, but like most superstitions are kind of like I don't believe in them, but I do agree that they're not good vibes. You know, like the energy. The Is there energy? a positive superstition? Uh, generally, no. Yeah. No, no, no. Because exactly. it's, it's, everything is based on something, and that something, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it just something about bad vibes. You know, mm. I don't believe anything that's is going to happen when you open an umbrella inside. But I see an umbrella that's open inside. I'm like, ooh, it, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't like the this. Heebie-jeebies, I don't like, you know? I don't like this. I don't know why. I just don't like it. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't like. It's this. just unnatural. Yeah, it's and when you like walk and like maybe this is my ADHD, but when I notice that I'm stepping on cracks, I'm just like. What if I just, what if like- what I if should I, call my mom. What if, what, if, what, if, what if the smooth part of my brain is just like, ooh, but what if I step in between the cracks? You know you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? This shit I used to do when I was like five. Bro. No, exactly, exactly. It just feels- When it's like a tiled flooring and you're just like stepping on a perfect like some step mania shit. It feels nicer to like, mm. like once you like consciously observe it. Oh, know? totally, yeah. Yeah, I, I get it, I get yeah, it. Yeah, it's Superstitious just, people, it's I get it. It's just a bit weird, but yeah. it's not a deal breaker. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's let's check out the next one. <sighs> All right, here we go. All right, what flag is uh, a partner that can't handle losing? As in they're a sore loser. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Soul loser. All right. Three, All right. two, one. Red. 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 Oh. Yeah. Okay. Red. We're all red. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, it's a, uh, it, soul loser is just never a positive thing. That's that's not even a partner thing. That's a red, vi- uh, that's a red flag as a- uh, That's a friend. Losing is as part a of growing. You gotta lose. Yeah. Losing is how you get better. The, at the stuff. worst thing about a sore loser is just th- how much of a vibe killer they become. Yeah, I, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That's the worst part. I, yeah. The thing I hate more than people who t- hate losing are people who won't even try because they don't want to lose at something. Yeah, that's right. the thing I hate the most. When yeah. like, like you won't even play something because you know you're not going to win. Yeah, and that, thus you're not going to play. And then you'd be like, I hate that. This is fucking stupid anyway. So it's yeah, I, I hate yeah. that so much. No, no, but like uh, the thing, the thing I think that is like even worse than that because no, no one likes losing or anything. But no. when when I hear someone that hates losing, right? If you have to, if you hate losing, there's there's I've been enough around enough people where they lose at something and they kind of just like shut down as a human being. Yeah. Mm. They're just pissed and they want to bring the vibe down because they are having an awful time for yeah. losing at some kind of game or something. I just want to like go that. again. <laughs> I'm like, let me play again. I'll beat you this time. Double or nothing. <laughs> I don't know, I just say yeah, I like, I like it's it's fun it's fun getting better at stuff. Yeah. Why would you not want to get better at something? Well, just some people just want to be just perfect at everything, yeah. you know. And to, they want to look like the perfect human and just yeah. life doesn't work that way. To me maybe it's not someone who hates losing, someone who's a sore loser. That is yeah, yeah. that is such a big vibe killer. Yeah, if you're, I, if I you're hate a sore losing, loser, but yeah. I, I'm I'm not going to throw a strop about it. I'm like let's fucking play again. Let's go. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that one was pretty unanimous. No, that was that was pretty. That was pretty easy though. That was All pretty right, easy. Who, who, All right. Who, who thinks, man? That's sexy. It's <laughs> yeah, who, sexy I when they whine. Love when I wanna, someone. I love when they get pissed off. Sexy when they whine like a little God. bitch. Damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, keeps relationship private. No. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing. In what context? Uh, I'm guessing just they kind of like separate their relationship to kind of like other aspects of their lives. So, right. so so they're, you know, someone who kind of like hangs out with their friends. Oh, like when you're like, you hang around a friend and then yeah. he's like, oh, by the way, I've been in a relationship for like eight months. And you're like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that? Or, yeah. or like more, more like, you know, they hang out with their friends and they just don't like talk about their partner at all. Mm. Or 
Um, oh, as in like they keep their relationships that's, that's, out of matters that don't exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know that if you're dating a person, so the opposite of that would be someone who's like, oh yeah, that was really cool. By the way, my boyfriend. Yeah, I someone who's so. yeah, constantly yeah. just like pushing in their own. So, shit so, so the way I interpret this is okay. So you're dating someone. Yeah, they will never talk to you. Uh, they would never talk about you to their friends outside of. Oh. Outside of. Is that the context you guys meant with this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm trying to discern. Like I said, not a lot of work with. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. I don't really have crazy. Okay. Um. Oh man, this is hard. So they don't go out of their way to talk about their relationship to other people. Yeah. And just so. Just... I guess. But what if? Okay, but what if like someone comes up to that person and is like, "How's your boyfriend or girlfriend?" and they talk about it. Is that I, I think a normal or? thing is just like someone who just doesn't really mention you kind of like- It's a tough one. Un unnecessarily. Yeah, unnecessarily. It's right. such a you vibe know. check kind of thing. It's yeah. so hard to know. Yeah, I, I guess uh, it's very much keeps okay. relationship private. Cause I could see multiple different people who have this kind of thing mm. and it would be very, very different with each person. Yeah. How yeah. the vibe would be. It really depends on the personality. But Cause like there's like Jeffrey Dahmer kind of private where you're like, oh, <laughs> and then you're like, you know. <laughs> that was the worst example. Well, you know, some of you are like, that's, why is he keeping it so private? That's so concerning. Yeah, you know, I'd understand if my boyfriend yeah. was a serial killer, but you know. It'd be a little bit more understanding. Yeah, yeah. they got, they got yeah. something yeah. to hide, sure. literally. Yeah. You know? yeah. All right, I'm ready. All right, ready? All right. Three, Three, two, two one. one. None. None. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah, such yeah. a case by case it's, thing. It's or whatever, you know. Like yeah. if if Aki wants to go around fucking talking about me to her girlfriends or doesn't at all, I it doesn't really change my fucking thing. I don't either. even think of this from like my perspective. I was thinking from like friends' perspective. Like yeah. if if uh, Gaunt didn't talk about Sydney ever, yeah. I would be like, well, I'm, you no, know. no, think I about it with your partner. Oh, I don't think I'd care that much. Yeah, like, I, I wouldn't care. I don't care. I'm like, I'd be like, as long as you, as, as long as you are- uh, <laughs> They know I exist, my... right? They know yeah, you're yeah, the family, yeah. right? They know I'm real, right? I'm yeah. a real boyfriend, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean like there's plenty of reasons to want to separate your love life from like other yeah. aspects of your life. Um, and there's some reason who really wants to shout to the world about their love life. And I respect both. I don't yeah. really care. You know? It's just how you do it. Yeah, yeah. It's about person to there's, person. I think, yeah, I think there's a right way to do it and there's a definitely a wrong way to do it. Yeah. What what I what I think is a red flag is uh kind of like someone who unprompted says every little intimate part oh, yeah. Yeah. of like the, their relationship to like everyone. It's like, yeah, this meal is great, but it kind of <laughs> reminds me of the time my boyfriend <laughs> fucked me in the ass, you know? Like it's like, whoa, all right, I didn't even know that. That's TMI. The next prompt, Dak. Okay. <laughs> uh, believes in conspiracy theories. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, this is. <laughs> I hope to God we all have the same answer for this. Okay. Three, two, one. It's red. <laughs> red. Okay. It's red. It's a very, very concerning trait to not be able to discern, like bullshit online. Yeah. And in general. Yeah. yeah. I feel that's just someone who is incredibly gullible to a dangerous level and that can yeah. sneak into uh, all other parts of the relationship. That could be dangerous. I, I don't even think it's gullible, man. I just think it's like a, it's we're, we live in a really tough time Yeah, where I think a lot of people, uh, you fall for a lot of things. I'm sure we all have fallen for something at some point, one mm -hmm. or another, but it's about being able to like educate yourself and know when you're, when you're wrong and yeah. learn when you've been fed misinformation or bullshit. Um, yeah. I want to date a free thinking person, not a sheep. All right. Well, you know, a lot of people like- I, Wake up sheep. A lot of people I like, care about my life. I found out when they, they'd say something, I'm like, oh no, you, you believe something that is wrong. Yeah. yeah. And this is, I don't know how to feel about this. Like food poisoning is not an illness. Well, that's that's not, <laughs> it's, it's not a theory, Jerry, it's the truth, okay? I mean, red wake flag, up, Jerry. Red flag, <laughs> wake red up, flag. Jerry. It, it kind of depends on, uh, like if I heard this instant, like my gut feeling is a red flag. Yeah. Uh, obviously, not even just as a partner, just as someone I want to be associated with. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's, it's it, it, like a big thing is that how, how big of a conspiracy are we talking here? Are yeah. we talking about- Cause there's lots of like little conspiracies where it doesn't have like yeah. that much of an effect are, are on the we... way that someone thinks about well, the, the world The last thing that I general, can think yeah. about that really kind of tested this yeah. was uh, the COVID vaccine. Like a lot of, oh, a lot of people yeah. when it came out, right? Like, cause a lot of people- That's true. When it initially came out, they were like, oh, I just don't know if I feel good about a vaccine that was made so fast. Yeah. Which was a sentiment that was very, very popular. Mm. Uh, and it made this really weird thing where people who normally would never like be conspiratorial 
kind of got reading kind of a, a, a pieces online that kind of more aligned with that theory and reasons why. And it was a really right kind of sad time really where yeah. a lot of people- That was the day where everyone collectively cleaned out their like Facebook friends closet. It was, you know? it was, it was a really it was like-, like oh, uh, I know immediately. It was a really like fucked up time. And yeah. I think that it, it was like the perfect storm to get people who would never, never like think this kind of way, who would kind of go down some rabbit holes, they wouldn't have gone down. Mm. Um, it was just sad. It was just made me sad. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think, like I said, it very much depends on the level of yeah. uh, what kind of conspiracy are they believing in? Is it something like fucking flat earthers or fucking something like that? 5G chips in the- 5G yeah. chips. Okay. Obviously red flag. Is it something a bit more fun? Like, oh, there are aliens in like area 51 or something like that, you know, which is- you can be, I, mean, like, you I can be, believe that You should be at, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. All right, red flag. Though. Based on facts from the Navy. <laughs> I've seen just, it. Like, you can-, you can Talk about conspiracy theories in a fun, fun way. Yeah, yeah. But if but seriously believing a lot of these things is, I think it's just bad and dangerous as well. If you, especially if you're gonna have kids and you're gonna tell them, oh, the shit. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're gonna make other kids who are fucking totally, dumb. totally, Angry. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's one thing to entertain the thought of conspiracy theories. It's another thing to like fully commit to it. Yeah, yeah you know. Uh, oh, we only got a few left in here. Might have to stock up soon. Yeah. We're going through these way too fast. <laughs> no, I think I think we have a really good pace. All right, next one. Uh, <laughs> they like horror too much. I put this one in. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. <laughs> I, Garton, I feel a target on our backs right wow. now. Wow, this is this is a personal attack. This is this is a goddamn personal attack. <laughs> Damn, Brother in arms, Garton. All right. I hope we make the right answer. Three, Three two, two, one, beige. beige. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. I said red. You let's said go. red. Okay, yeah. for me, again, this is another one of, it depends. This is exactly like the Disney adult. It just depends on how much, right? You can like a lot of horror movies, which Sydney and Aki most certainly do. Love yeah. the horror genre, right? Love the true crime shit. I think that's fine. But when once you start to get to the point of like, you know, you're actively trying to like pursue cases or like, mm. you know, you mm. love like the absolutely like abhorrent, like gore porn type films that you can only find on the black market and mm. shit. Mm. That's a red flag for me. Right. Right. But if you just like horror as a genre, I think it's fine. Oh, uh, this is like pure, no reason, just feeling. I'm like, <laughs> I just don't like, I, I just get a bad vibe. Why? Personally. Why? Why? Well, I, hey, I like Sydney. Uh, Sydney's great, but when, when I'm when I'm like, if I'm talking to someone and they're Two like of the most lovely people I know are uh, horror big yeah. horror fans. No, no, one's absolutely. Sydney, the I other like one the is metalheads of the horror. The other one know? is John Super I, Wolf, I, You know, I, I, he yeah. listen. Uh, fucking this loves is, This is not me as like a red flag as people. I'm like yeah. to date someone who likes horror too much. Oh, I see. For me, right. I just don't fuck with the vibe. Do you not like horror? Uh, I think it's like the worst genre overall. Really? Consistently, it gets the worst shit. I mean, there's a lot of shit horror films out like, there. Because uh, it's one of the easiest types of films. Genre to for know? genre, it generally has like the lowest quality of most things. Because I mean, for, for, for this, there's a lot of reasons why. You know what? I'm going to come here and defend horror. You can. Okay, as a genre. I'm a hater. Okay. I'm a hater, what up? As, as a genre, yes, I agree that uh, there are a lot of shit horror films yeah. and they are happen to be the ones that get the most uh, marketing and yeah. most attention, like the FNAF film that just came out, for mm. example. But shit I'd say movie. as a genre, horror has some of the most conceptually interesting ideas you can find in anywhere, I like most that. genres, which is why I'm a fucking pussy, but I'm one of those kinds of guys who, I love hearing about horror movies because I like to experience horror without experience horror, experiencing horror movies because yeah. they have such interesting ideas. Yeah. Right? I am, all, I am, I am also a pussy, uh, but <clears throat> some of the really good horror films I've watched, I've just absolutely loved as a film. Yeah. Just because it's so, it, cause uh, like- Listen, I'm not here out of the saying there's no good horror films. No, I'm just no, saying- no, no. <laughs> Film for film? No, I I, I totally agree with that. And I think the problem there- <laughs> You're treating this like a fucking UFC fight. Yo, pound for pound? Pound for pound? Show me pound the pound. genre, sci-fi? Dog shit genre. <laughs> Dog What's the ratio? Shit. Someone tally it up. <laughs> Dog no, shit. No, I totally agree. Like, I think, you know, because of like the whole B-grade horror thing and just the fact that horror as a story and as a type of film is probably one of the easier genres to film for like, indie creators and like, mm. you know, indie directors and stuff like that. Yes, there is a lot of shit out there. A lot of really and amateur and it, shit that's boring and stereotypical. But whenever you get some like really conceptually different and just yeah. like, 
thrilling and well written stories in the horror genre. This, this, this is more really of an good. extension of my hatred for the most popular. Well, not hatred, but you know, I, I admittedly I consume this, but I I hate that I consume this stuff. And I hate that. What true crime stuff? Yeah, I hate I hate that. Yeah, yeah. True crime is the most popular horror genre right now. Oh yeah, uh -huh. um, but you can't look away. No, yeah, but it's like, <laughs> it, it feels like this you know? really, I, and I always say this all the time, it feels, I don't, it makes me feel weird. I don't like that we- I mean, I, I said that right, like at know, the first know, fucking, I know, I know. remember this? I know, He's a did, trend setter this I, one. Did, I said it before, it was like super popular. Now people are like, oh, it's, it's super popular. You hate it now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. How, how does it feel? <laughs> no, Robin but like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and, and it's, it's just personal experience. Every mm. person that I've ever been with who is very into horror, bad vibes. Really? Bad vibes, bad vibes for me personally. Oh. I'm also the common denominator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, when I when I see someone like that, uh, I don't I don't think bad vibes. I just think, man, they are very morbidly curious, and um, you know, it's it's that a lot of the times the morbid curiosity just takes over the logical brain because mm. they know it's like a lot of people who I've met know it's just like, ah, oh, and I. You know, I, I know I shouldn't look at this. Sydney would have been a plague doctor back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. And she would have loved it. <laughs> yeah, like to me, to me, I'm not someone who's that morbidly curious. I've seen enough things to be like, ah, uh, I think my day would be happier if I didn't see this beige. one yeah. thing. That's good, that's good, yeah. the beige. Yeah. Beige. It, again, to me, it's just a little quirky. Yeah, to me, it's, it's, to me, it's just like one weird thing that someone obsesses over. Yeah. If they're not hurting anyone over it, then I think it's fine. Yeah, like so the difference between- a Disney adult. And a horror fanatic. Yeah, I oh know. Oh my lord. Real like, to me, To me, the Disney <laughs> thing is mostly, I think like the Disney thing is more in line of with why you put red as horror, mm. just not my vibes. It's, uh, I, I, this is like, cause I think if you were to, we could have a genuine conversation about like why all of these are really not that bad yet. But I, I feel like we should be going off pure gut, like how we're feeling about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, like, cause, that's pure... how, cause that's how it should be. Cause this is your, your imagine you're dating this person. Mm. Like, I would just set up my gut. Oh, I don't have to imagine. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> in my, case. my balls would tell me don't date the Disney adult. I don't right. know why I just wouldn't feel good about it. I mean, I have no problem I with Aki being a Disney adult. I have no problem Aki being a horror fanatic. Uh, she right. just likes Kingdom Hearts a little too much in my opinion. <laughs> that's shit. a red flag. All right, let's uh, move All right. it on. All right. All right. Here we go. I mean, God. Different strokes for different folks. No, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's just a personal preference. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> what do we got? Uses Twitch emotes in conversation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, hmm, okay. Uh, oh, God. Well, technically, copium is a Twitch emote. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of Twitch and emotes. That's a great out one. There. Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Red. 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 Okay, if it's a friend. No problems with it. It's whatever. I'm right? on a first date with someone. They say poggies to me. I'm or ooh ooh, or anything like that. I'm like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this restaurant, it, I'm, it's kicked W right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, if if <laughs> I'm if I'm in does not sleep on my I guess. <laughs> if I'm in any kind of situation other than a fucking like Twitch con or like an anime yeah. convention, if or I'm talking to streamers or something. Yeah, if I go on Tinder and we get in the conversation and they unironically use a Twitch emote, I'm like. No. I didn't think I, I didn't think I would get a reply back, Monka S. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I'm like, all right, in swipe left. Like what I'm, that I'm shows me is this person is terminally online, yeah. which of course they are like us. Mm. Uh, one, I kind of want to get away from that. And two, uh, I don't even, I, I rarely even use Twitch emotes, even though it's like our job in like our conversation. Mm. It's poggers. Yeah, yeah. poggers is just, Every time, I, every time Connor says like a twitchy moment, most of the time I tell him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I value being able to be a social chameleon, right? I like being able to, if you throw me in a, in a dinner with a bunch of stuffy bankers, I could yeah. probably, I could probably have some conversations there. And I would love to see that. Scenario. They wouldn't, they wouldn't know, you know, that I'm a Twitch streamer. I think I, I'd be completely fine. Except for the purple own. shirt. Yeah. Be well, obviously I'd be wearing something different. I'd be wearing something different. If I wanted to fit in, I could, and, yeah. I, and I value being able to, be able to fit in whichever scenario. Cause yeah, if, sure. if you come in, right, first day, you go on poggies. Oh, <laughs> this food is uh, is poggers. And then I'm thinking like, man, when I introduce them to my parents, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I have, I'm thinking about that. It's I'm thinking long games, come on. Like I, I you know, I can't be like, don't fucking say Kappa once during yeah. this dinner. Right? <laughs> I don't wanna have to have that conversation. 
It's like, so, so how, so I can just imagine like the boyfriend's parents talking to the girlfriend saying like, so how is he treating you? It's like, here to go, no cap. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty Pepe hands right now. It's it's just like, if if they think- Big W. If, not like this, no way. Yeah, if no if way. they if they think- Ain't huh? no way. Yeah, if, if they think that, you know, it's socially acceptable on like a first date to just start spamming the Twitch emotes IRL, um, like- To the I'm, streets. I'm, 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 I'm imagining the streets. I'm imagining <laughs> to the chat with you. <laughs> I'm imagining what kind of like situations would they also be comfortable with spamming Twitch emotes? Mm. Like she what if belongs in the chat? <laughs> what if what if we're you in not she goes poggy? Yeah, 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 yeah. What if we're in bed? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was a gold split right there. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, see that my, sounds fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, thank God. When they see my three inch among us. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no way. You know, in general though, I have, um, it, it doesn't just like, I guess, stop at Twitch emotes. If they start like pumping out the discord memes, in like everyday conversation, you know, we, 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 we gotta have a chat. We gotta have a yeah. chat as well. Did you come? Sus. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, get off of me. The word come has been ruined for me. I always get like in my head, there's that split second when someone says come. I'm like, I'm like, so bunk. My brain is broken. Yeah. All right, bring on the next flag. So a fucking long one. Oh, I got two, that's why. What do we got? She talks about marriage on a first date. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so right. this is hmm. assuming you're not in the committed relationship yet. Yeah. You're just first on date. the date. First, first date. First, first date. date. It says she talks about marriage on the first date. Uh, okay. All right. I'm ready, gentlemen. All right. I think I'm ready as well. All right. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Red. None. Green. Really? I, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. This is I, I was almost. I was almost going to put green uh, because... Uh, yeah, like I think that I've seen too many people mm. where they hit these cr relationship crossroads, right? A lot mm. of them come, like a lot of them start dating, get along really well, date for years, and then everyone hits this relationship crossroads. Yeah. Do we want to get married? Do you ever want to get married? Oh, and and mm. do you ever want to have kids? Mm. And I've seen so many couples that have like had just their world destroyed because they don't want to break up with this person, but they also don't want to compromise on this very, very important thing, which you're allowed to make a live decision on, yeah. which is some people just don't want to get married and that's respectable. I, th I think you can be very happy together as a couple and yeah. have it all be perfect. And then it'd be a valid reason to not want to be with someone any longer because they don't want to marry. Yeah. Like uh, I think to some people- Okay, yeah, I didn't think of it like that. That is yeah. such a, that is like, you know, I think it's personal preference. Like yeah. maybe- yeah. like. I just thought Maybe it's for you, way th that's, too fast. Like, right, right, right. And I think that's fair. I was like, whoa, like, whoa, 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 I think that, that's fair as well. I don't even yeah. know you, you know? For me, it's like, I'd rather you tell me right now what, you, what, what you're hoping to get uh -huh. eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that's, yeah. not, that's not you saying to me, hey, we have to get married. It yeah. kind of is, but it's also like, hey, see, this that's is- that's how I see it. Yeah. This is yeah. my intention is to look someone to marry. Yeah. yeah. Which is what I, you know, I, most people are looking for. Yeah. Sure. In it's, a roundabout way. Yeah. And I think, Expressing that that is something that you are interested in or not interested in initially yeah. is a, a, a considerate thing to do. Right, yeah, and right. I think making sure that your intentions are out right at the beginning of the relationship, I think is respectable, you know, because if, yeah. If you'd asked me five years ago, it would've been a red flag because I was young and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think the older I get, the more I'm like, yeah, I think it's something that, it, especially as you get older, it's something that has to be discussed yeah. and why not get it out of the and, way? And too right many people away. were like, too many people were like, kind of like sweep this under the rug to be like, yeah. we'll figure it out eventually. And they put it off. And then obviously you reach- Same, a, same thing with like kids, right? Kids, yeah, yeah. Are, I think more so with kids. Yeah. yeah. I think getting married is kind of like, oh, we'll just get married. But kids yeah, is yeah. always the, normally a pretty, can, can and, be a decisive thing. Right. And, and the thing is I've seen people with that have compromised on this like big life decision to be like, well, I don't want to break up. So I'm going to want, like, I'm going to get married. And then it always- Sounds like you're in green, God. I don't know, huh? if, I don't know if you're I not. Can't. Sounds like you're in green. Yeah, that sounds very green. <laughs> what you're you, saying. Don't wanna, you don't want to commit to the green squad here. Like what's wrong, <laughs> God? Just commit. He said I green mean, way too many times in the first half of this episode. So <laughs> he's got to make a compromise. I mean, so, okay, to so when what's the downside then? Cause you put none. What's the downside? Uh, like to me, like it's neither a red flag or a green flag. It's just like, a, okay, I understand your intentions. Uh, we can decide 
late, like I can have this in mind so I can decide it later on. Mm. But as long as the intentions are out, that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean shit to me, you know? Yeah. It, it means I know that if I, like, if I want to commit to this relationship, I know that that is the end goal, mm. you okay. know? Cause I said red because it's a, just a bit too much pressure like on a four, first date. Fifth yeah. Fifth date? What do you get yeah. to know me on a first date, bro. Like, you know, <laughs> I, I get it, you know, like, cause like, I totally get what you mean with like, you know, just get all of like that kind of- There is like a ton, out of the way in the beginning, but- A ton of context that could be missing here. Like, yeah. is this a first blind date? Is this a date where you've, but you've already spoken for months. And right. Yeah. Like, I, I was thinking a, of a, like a blind date. <clears throat> that's fair. Yeah. If it's yeah. a blind date. I still think it's valid. And I yeah, yeah. yeah. But like for me, it's like, okay, you know what? I, I just want to get to like you as a person before I even want to know about what you want for me. I right? mean, something like- I, I, That just puts pressure on me. Well, I, don't like well that. I guess if, if it puts pressure on you, why would you be feeling pressure about it? Because you feel like they're trying to marry you or like- Well, yeah, because the way that they say it could be putting it in that way of being like, oh, I'm so desperate. And like, you know, I need someone to, you know, do X, Y, Z and all that kind of stuff. And I am afraid that I won't be able to commit to that, you know? And like, mm. for me on a first date, I want to just get to know you as a person. That's mm -hmm. fair. I don't care about yeah. like, you know, where you want to be in 10 years or anything like right. that. I just yeah. want to know you right now, like what your present valid. state is. Yeah. Maybe third or fourth date. Sure. Then we can start talking about something. Wouldn't it stress you out then more? Cause you're, now you're like, it's yeah. kind of working. Yeah. No, no, now no, no. you feel like you gotta say yes to the yeah. marriage cause well, she wants to get married. I don't know. But <laughs> if, for me, it's just like a bit icky when it happens on the first date, but that's just me. Okay, okay. That's just me. Jackie didn't say it on the first date. <laughs> no. Thankfully she didn't say it on the first date. <laughs> All right, let's see. And, oh Jesus, okay. All right, uh, okay. Takes more than 30 minutes to get dressed. Oh. 30 minutes is such an arbitrary number, you know? That's a, uh, can, 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 can I say? That's, that's quick. <laughs> no. That's, uh, so it takes longer than 30 minutes? That's so long. Bro, 30 minutes is quick. Are we including shower time? Does shower time count? No, just oh. getting ready. Okay, okay, good, good. I was gonna say, cause shower time is like- Yeah, that's like they're yeah. sitting on the couch and you go, honey, we're gonna go- Wait, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not crazy. 30 minutes is quick, right? Uh, I think if you're- It wait, depends. Wait, 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 okay, wait. Okay, hold up, hold up. What's the, okay, we need way more context yeah. in the situation. Okay, when-, when well, Are we waking up or are we are we going out for dinner? Like, I, yeah. thought, I thought you meant going out for dinner, you know? Okay, so presumably you're already like showered and everything, you're just putting on- I, Makeup. And dress, I guess. Like yeah, just like makeup, clothes, dress, dress, clothes, jewelry, accessories, yeah. all that kind of stuff. It's, shoes, I don't know, bag. Dude, I, I'll be real with you. I'll, I'm playing video games. So <laughs> I, I just say when we, like, I'll just tell just you. Say like, whenever you're ready. I'm like, this is when we're gonna leave. Just get ready for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it takes you 15 hours. Just be ready to go at this How time. How early are you letting them know? <laughs> Well, I mean, what I'm, if, just, I'm okay, just trying to be punctual. What What if it's like, what if it's just like a super like last minute decision, you know, you're both just like hanging out at home, you want to do something and you just happen to have the idea of, hey, you know what? So it's nothing crazy, right? It's not no, like- No, 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 just right, like being right. like, hey, hey, honey, let's go out for yeah, dinner, I, get ready. Uh, uh, and they take more than 30 minutes. Is that a red flag or a green flag? <laughs> if it was longer than an hour, it'd be red. Because it's 30, I'll say none. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna beige. say none. Like I said, 30, 30 is very quick. <laughs> yeah. How long does Sydney on average take? Huh? Um, so it like very much depends. If it's like a fancy night, then she needs she needs an hour. Like Fair just enough. like- it, Yeah, I think anything over an hour. Still, that's still quick. Huh? For a fancy night, that's quick. My Lord. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what yeah. I'm saying, right? No that's what I'm saying. If this is like a good <laughs> number. <laughs> like, we've been in long enough relationships enough to know a yeah. fancy night hour. It's like, whoa, are you compromising something? Like what, are you not putting in the effort? Did any of your what? previous relationships, they like the, ever hit rich, reach this point? Yeah. Cause this like, like, obviously like, you know, I've been in multiple relationships and uh, yeah, in, in, my, in my frame of reference, 30 minutes has been a very, very quick turnaround. Yeah. I'll be real. Um, I. I will, if I leave with the person, I would be like, hey, I'm leaving, we're leaving at this time. Just mm. be ready. And I yeah. don't really keep track of how long it takes. I just know that if it runs over, I'm like- Oh, I guess like it's- Come oh, on. Oh, I see. I mean, if, if we're like 40 minutes late to a thing, I'm like, come on. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, that's you know, a, then that'll it's be It's not right. like it's your first time no, doing no, no. this. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like, okay, if they're late, it's something different. But like, I know, I know the lead time my partner needs <laughs> in order to like, 
do like yeah. do something. Don knows exactly when to start the split. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I value being punctual a lot. So I'm like, let's be punctual. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Man. It's 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 like if they're late, okay, that's something that is a red flag, mm. you know, but I like in terms of how it, I don't really care how how long it takes you to get ready, as long as you know how long it takes you to get ready. You yeah, know? and some people they take over an hour, and uh, that's just how long they take. Tilt the art, you know. I don't really care that much. I'll be real. So. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I'm like, honey. Yeah. I'm a. Watch some anime while yeah, you I'll spend like, I'll, I'll do something. I'm not there with as you. As long as we're there on time and you look amazing. Yeah. That's all I care Next about. Next one. All right. All right, go on. Next one then. Oh, that's me. I, I know some people though, who are just like super fucking like, you know, yeah. anal about that mm. stuff, but it's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. What is it? <laughs> they are a fan of your content. Oh. <laughs> this is presuming, presuming before. This, this is for us. Before, oh, before we, you get in a relationship. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because obviously you're like- right, right. Yeah, Well, after you, I'm well, sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I, would, yeah. I would hope my partner is a fan of my shit. <laughs> first date, first date kind of thing. You find out- First date, oh, yeah. First, first date. date? They're, they're a fan of your oh, content. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Are we all gonna have the same answer for this? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, so. I think so. All right. Ready, three, three two, two, one. one. Red. red. I'm writing it right now. Yeah, I got red too. It's red. It's Were you going to put beige at the beginning? No, no, no. I just, I, I was I'm gonna fucking right. I'm an idiot. Um, I think that, uh, I, you know, it's not fun always fact, bad. Fun fact, uh, Mark Rober, his wife is a fan, was a fan. Oh, oh. really? Uh, yeah, I think there's a there's tons of examples where it's gone well mm. and oh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And there yeah. are tons of examples where it's gone horribly wrong. Yeah. I think it's just a, it's, it, it gives people a normally there's normally a bad connotation around it, specifically with just YouTubers in general, because mm. like rock stars or whatever, they don't, they fucking, they, it was I mean, never a bad yeah. thing. I, I'm, I'm saying this more like a personal me, yeah, level. Personal. My gut reaction to like, if I'm on like a first date, yeah. they're like, oh, by the way, I, I like, I really bad. like your stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not oh, a fan of that. That ah. means you know more about me than I do about you. And that makes me well, uncomfortable. Well, that also and means I don't know that what the they have is. some kind of like weird parasocial look about you where they know, they think they well, know a lot about you through the videos, which in a lot of cases, there's a lot that doesn't get shown on camera. Well, you know? okay. Uh, and this is- For this, better or worse. Mm -hmm. This is such an, like my personal <laughs> feeling, no. But the, the nuance of this question is so numerous. Yeah. Like, but that's every question. Yeah. And like, <laughs> being a, I could have watched five of Gant's videos and I could be like, yeah, I'm a fan of Gant's videos, mm, yeah. but I don't know anything about Gant. I just know that he's made some videos that I enjoyed. Right. There's so many different layers of this question. I think that, cause you know, you hear about this all the time. I think YouTubers who date fans, it's generally not a good thing, but I think it's mm -hmm. fine. It's just if they do some fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? It, it, can, it can work as with anything. If you treat it like an adult and like, yeah. you know, like you if know, you're both taking advantage adults of, of like this dynamic that you have. But yeah. for me, it just like, it would make me uncomfortable because yeah, me I want yeah, to come into a relationship in like equal standing. There needs to be that joy of finding stuff out about each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You're like, what the fuck? Why okay. the Ruby's cube? That's crazy. Really like, probably like one in a million scenario, but hypothetically speaking, yeah. if there was a girl who was a fan of you, but they don't use social media. What? As in like they watch YouTube, but they don't do Twitch, uh, Twitter, mm -hmm. Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, any of that kind of stuff. Would that change? No. It'd be a little bit better. I'd feel a bit better about it, but I, I still would feel a bit like, how much have you seen? Yeah. Mm. You see that one where I look like shit all the time? <laughs> Which is all of my videos. <laughs> yeah, like, that's just like a fifth date kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nah, I think most YouTubers can agree this is kind of a red flag for on different levels. Um, what? Well, yeah, I but mean, not improbable. Our, a lot of our stuff is so personal, mm -hmm. and our content often we share so much of ourselves. So I think that they, yeah, like you said, they would know so much about you. Yeah, already. Yeah. Um. So I think it'd be a weirdly bit parasocial. Um, but I mean, I mean, you used to have not so much though. It's not so Sorry? much. Uh, if they just watched your main channel, they wouldn't know. Sure. They wouldn't know much about you. Yeah. I mean, I now I think like there's a whole different like dynamic since ever since I started Trash Taste. Yeah, exactly right. Like this, <laughs> like if That's I, true. if I just That's made true. music on YouTube and never showed my face, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd be like, whatever. Yeah, that'd like, be different. Yeah. Cause yeah. then like, if I vibed with them and it was really chill, they wouldn't know anything about like, me. Oh, they like my music. Like, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then- Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> this is so much, like, yeah. If, if they're, yeah, okay, mm, okay, then this they is are why, a fan of trash taste, this is why, instant red flag, <laughs> get them out of here. This is why we have They know too much. This is why you have to go with our 
gut. No one fucking reason logic it. We can logic <laughs> yeah. the shit out of all of these. Oh, my gut yeah. is ran, and I'm sticking <laughs> by it. <laughs> all right, cool. My all right, turn. sweet. Give all me right. fucking, all right. fucking box. <laughs> <laughs> oh <Right>. god <laughs> um <laughs> wow of course i got this one wears the same outfit a lot mm. <laughs> yes ceo of a drip company what do you think joey what do you think uh, okay i have i have my reasonings for this uh. all right wears the same outfit a lot yeah. Okay. We don't know anyone who does that. No. No one. No All one right. I know. All right. Three, two, one. Beige. Green. Green? Why green? Bro, I mean, if you've got a great outfit and you're confident in it, fucking rock it. What dude. if it's not a great outfit? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll just tell them. Okay, but what if it's like they think it's fucking awesome, but you are just like, that ain't it, chief. And they don't change their mind about it. That's a, that's a great concern. Um, yeah. I would hope that I have. A, fall in love with every aspect of them, including their <laughs> outfit choices. And then, then this is a win because I like it a lot and they're wearing it all the time. Okay, here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. You you go on three dates. And they wear the on, same outfit. And they wear yeah. the same outfit on three. Okay, like two. That's, that would two, literally you, be me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I think- No, you'd at least switch no, no, it up no, no. being like, yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. wore the Twitch shirt, yes, purple yeah, shirt, yeah, but a, okay. next one I'm gonna a, wear the trash t-shirt. If it's a banger outfit, it's a banger outfit. Okay, wear but what it. if it's not yeah. a banger outfit? Odds are it is if they're wearing it back to back. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, like you'd be surprised, man. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, you only wear the outfit yeah. if it's great. You'd be surprised. Yeah. I mean, I probably mentioned it. I probably, uh, you know, give, give a bit of banter about it. Okay, but. this is way more common guys than than uh, women in general, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think guys tend to wear the same outfits a lot more. Mm. Yeah, no, definitely. It's but like I, I feel like even on dates, you know. I mean, that I was feel, you're, you, uh, yeah. on, on dates. You're just like very obviously very conscious about. Yeah if, yeah, if you found something that's comfortable for you though, and you you really feel great in it, and uh, why not? Like, do it, rock mm. it. Hey, okay. one less thing to think about. Yeah, I I put beige because that was me before I met Aki. I used to just wear the same clothes all the fucking time because I didn't care about what I wore. Classic yeah. Disney adult. Classic. <laughs> no, just classic Australian wearing oh, the same okay. shirt. <laughs> over and over. Like then, you know, cause like Aki was super into fashion. I got into it because of her. So yeah. like, I'm thinking about that now in the opposite side mm. of things being like, well, if I like clothes, which I do, now and if my partner say for example wore the same shit all the time that would get me excited to be like let's try on some new shit let's see what you like you know and that would give me an excuse to bond with them as it did for us so yeah that's why you, just, you just took my like fucking anime and movie answer joey <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you you're like this is it this is my bonding chance yeah, it's like a red flag for that and now suddenly, suddenly with clothes you're like oh, ooh, my. it's a little you can avoid lucky. anime you can't avoid clothes <laughs> You know, well, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Joey. Oh, I know you've yeah. been trying your best. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, wait, wait, wait. That's it's you, Joey. Oh, me? Okay. Yeah. I was going to tell you, but yeah, I thought, yeah. ah, he's too deep in the draw. That's whatever. All right, here we go. Boop. They text you every day. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. They text you every- Is this like what period of the, are we like first day day territory? Just- all from first date to like- Does it make a difference? Current. I think it does. You think? 100%. I'm thinking about it. Actually, okay, like, doesn't text you every day. Do, text you every day. Text you every day. They text you every day. Yeah. Yeah. They text you every day. For me, it depends. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say go this thing with my reasoning. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go with my gut. All right. All right, three, three two, two, one. one. I said none. I said green. I said red. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I said none because it really depends on the frequency. Like when we say every day, like how often every day are we talking? Like yeah. every couple of hours, like every five minutes, it's very different, right? If it's only like a couple of times a day, then I think that's fine. I think there's nothing I, wrong with that. I need time to marinate. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, listen, if you-, if you That's an out of context clip. <laughs> I need time to like, really uh, know how I'm, that I'm feeling it. And the only way I know that is if I, I have a moment where I don't talk to you and I still think about you. Right. You know what I mean? That really lets me know that I, I really, it's something special. See, this might be different because I was in a long-term relationship where yeah. texting was the only real way to stay in contact. But to yeah. me, I feel like sometimes I, I was guilty of this in school where I would build 
I would want to talk to the person every day, not because I wanted to, but out of habit. And then I, I, it was a thing that we both did. Right. Mm -hmm. And we almost, I almost felt like hostage by it. Uh, but I felt that if they didn't text me, I would get like anxious. And I, right. and I felt like that was a bad trait that I developed. Uh -huh. But how often would you text? Um, it'd be a, a fair amount. Yeah, it'd be like a few times a day. Right. And I yeah. didn't like that, that I felt reliant on that. Right. And then like when you I- you feel like you needed to because- Yeah, and then I, just, I realized I was so much happier when I felt that like, there was no bullshit small talk. And when we'd hang out, it'd be really good. Mm. And we'd occasionally text in between, mm. but there was no expectation that it had to be there every day. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I like that a lot. <clears throat> and that's to me when I really know that it's something really like, uh, something really worth pursuing. It's like it's like those friends that you have where you could not talk to each other for like months on end, but when you meet them again, IRL, Hello. it's like nothing's I'm, changed. I'm, I'm that person. Yeah. <laughs> me too, me too. Yeah. I'm like that too. I don't want to text. I'm like, hey, if you want to call, let's have a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I don't really want to text much, but now I'll be like, you know, if I'm if I'm with someone for a very long time, yeah. just to text being like, yeah, how's your day going? It's mm. going good. All right, well, I'll, I'll see you on yeah. the weekend or something. Yeah. Like, like, like that's where I'm kind of, that's where I get to. That's so fair. I do like the daily texts after a while, sure. yeah. but in the initial getting together period of like the, that first few months, I don't want to text every day. Mm. I, I, I need to know that we can operate outside of each other. Yeah, right. It's very important to right, me. Right. For me, uh, I just like get in my own head a lot. Uh, I don't know if like weakness. any other- huh? Shed that weakness, God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we any- get I, I don't that. know if any guy gets this, uh, but it's just like, sometimes you overthink whether like the frequency of the text. And I've kind of realized that I would rather just fucking know that someone ha like I'm in someone's mind, especially for like thinking, uh, yeah. like, no matter what, in mm. no matter what period of the relationship is, I would love to know that I'm in someone's thoughts, thoughts and prayers. Uh, I'm in someone's thoughts, um, kind of like, you know, on, on, a, on like a day-to-day -day basis, because yeah. if I like someone, they're going to be in my thoughts, sure. you know? And sometimes I'm, I'm that kind of guy who you guys know, I'm fucking horrible at this shit. So I need someone to just message me so that you're, I know- You're both being held hostage by your anxieties. Hmm? You're both being held hostage by the equal anxiety you share of wanting to be wanted by each other. Yeah, so I need someone to balance me out. <laughs> oh my I, I, need, I, need, I, need, I need someone to balance the me out. The true Chad moment is when you realize that you both are happy together and you don't need to know, you don't need to have each other's attention constantly. Yeah. No, no, I totally agree you with that. You can be dependent yeah, yeah. and independent at the same yeah, time. Being yeah, being yeah, independent yeah. is such an important thing and that I, I learned to, but like, you know, sometimes also like, you know, RV trip, I'm yeah. live constantly and then I'm, I then have to, when the cameras go off, I gotta, I gotta eat, sleep, and then prepare the stuff for the next day. Yeah. I'll be like a five day thing where I just can't, I, I just don't have the capacity mm. to, yeah. to have a conversation. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's just like, I need to know that you're not gonna freak out if, I, if I'm just kind of like not really there for five days. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, no, I totally get that as well. Um, I kind of like, I kind of just think that I think the, especially in like the initial periods, mm. right? There's so much of this fucking dance about, oh, yeah, should I text, mm. should I not text, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, what's, I am I talking too much and am I talking too little? And I think if they wanna talk, they're gonna fucking talk. And if I don't wanna talk, like if I don't wanna talk back because I'm just not vibing or if it's too much, mm. then that's just gonna be an indicator for me. Sure. You know, so for me, I would rather someone text me Every day, when whenever when they, they actually mean it, they, when they actually mean yeah, it, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so that I like, I kind of know their intentions, and I know like what they want, and I know th if I want to pursue something as well, or mm. if I want to text back. Because most of the time, if they text every day, uh, I'm gonna be like, if I really like them, I'm gonna text back, and it's it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna have. I, I think the key thing here is that I I felt that it wasn't the question wasn't phrased as like it's nice to talk every day. It's more like. They have to talk every day. Right. Uh, yeah. I which mean, I think it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's nice to talk every day, yeah. but I never ever want to have that feeling that like I need to talk to them every day. Mm. So yeah. I feel like that that can breed some toxic, uh, toxic uh, kind of traits in the relationship. Right. Yeah. That they kind of need to be around each other constantly. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I totally. Agree. I think just just that some, sometimes on busy days, just a single text is enough. Just yeah, to know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know, hey, sometimes you know, like I, I'm talking like personally. Sometimes I have like similar days where I have no fucking time at all where I'm working all day, but just knowing it's like, hey Sydney, how's your day been? And she's been like, it's good. I'm making dinner. Mm. I'm like. You that's, know that's all you need. That's that's all I need. You that's know fair. that's that's that's, that's, that's what I want. So that's yeah, fair. green flag for me.
Yeah. All very, right. very different depending on personality yes. types, I yes. feel. Yes. All right. You. Oh, it's me. He called it. Oh, okay. All What's right. the next one gone? Oh, God, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what? They ask to, um, they ask for your phone passcode. <laughs> Uh, Is this normal? Uh, I guess. Um, maybe not normal, but it happens. Yeah, it, it, it does happen. I mean, do we even have to do the reveal? Uh, I yeah. think we already know, right? It's, it's red. red. Yeah. It's Huge fucking red. red. Privacy no. is very important, and uh, yeah. you need to have some semblance of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you can have nothing to hide. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's valid to, to just not, not want to give that out. I think people who ask of their partners for their phone uh, you know, passwords because they're afraid that like their partner is hiding something is just projecting themselves onto their partner. Like oh. like people who do that clearly have been in a past <clears throat> where like they've had to hide something themselves. And so, you know, they, because yeah. they have stuff to hide, they think, well, I have stuff to hide. So maybe my partner also has stuff to hide too. Maybe I should get his phone code. So like, that's just a media red flag. It's it's like, to me, um, I've, I've actually experienced this with like previous relationships actually. Oh, shit. Um, it's, it's almost like the catch 22, you know? It's like, yeah, what yeah, came yeah. first, the chicken or the egg? Except mm. it's like, oh, you trust them. So you should have no problem giving them your phone passcode, but- you, if you have nothing to hide, yeah, you can it, give it. But like it, like to me, in my experience, it builds a very something toxic kind of oh, like absolutely. trust yeah. system. Yeah, yeah, totally. It is, it is the wrong kind of mentality where you know if you trust your partner, you should have no problem giving them your passcode. But if they trust you, they wouldn't ask for your passcode. A passcode. Yeah. It's 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 like you've a toxic. Got, you've got nothing like, to hide. Is the, yeah. the 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 scummiest defense. Yeah. To, to overreach in the history of overreaching. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, the, 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 you, of course you've got nothing to hide, but yeah. also privacy is allowed. Yeah. You yeah. know, like <laughs> you are allowed to have things private and yeah. that is a right that you get to have as a human being. I don't want you looking, you know? I don't want you snooping through my fucking files without my permission in any situation. Like, do I have to explain every meme on my phone? No. <laughs> Like there's a, I think if you ask- Do I have this, to explain my Google search history to you? No. This would be a, uh, a relationship ender for me, I think, if someone asked me this. Yeah. I yeah, think this, yeah. Would, this would, and if they were pushing it after I said no, I think I'd, that would, yeah, that'd be a relationship ender. For yeah, me. yeah. I, I think so too. I think people who do this uh, don't, don't do it. Yeah. It I, never I, goes well. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a fallacy in like every relationship where you have to share every single part of yourselves no. with your partner. And I think a good, an important thing about your individual people is that you just acknowledging that you're individual people mm. um, with your own like wants and privacy and mm. whatever. And you are comfortable with that. Yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of couples get insecure if they don't, if they if they don't have like proof to themselves that like, oh, I know everything about my partner. Mm. We, we are like one soul. And I'm like, uh, to me, that's not like, that's not what a balanced relationship is yeah. in my opinion, you know? No, I agree. I agree with that. All right, All that right. was an easy uh, clean red flag sweep. Clean with that one. sweep, baby. I hope everyone at home also said red. Oh. All right, this is the last one. Last wow, one. There is only All one right. more. Here we go. And I was feeling like we had a natural conclusion as well. Yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she, what the fuck have they written this? She a low, but I think it's a 10. Oh, wait. Oh, she a 10. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she alone. She alone. I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> it was formatted really weird. <laughs> but, but, okay, yeah, it's really, she's a 10. Sorry, I, I was trying to read this and I was like, isn't my crazy? It looks <laughs> formatted, it's really bizarre. <laughs> she's a 10, but puts, she's milk, 10, puts before. milk before cereal. Wait, what? Uh, she puts milk before her cereal. She's a 10, but she puts milk before her cereal. And you said point crow something. Right. She's a point crow tweet. Oh, is it? Okay, so this is a tweet from uh, Point Crow, fellow content creator. Yeah. Who said, she's a 10, but she pours milk before her cereal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how do I answer this? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, ready? Go. Three, two, one, green. Clearly a red flag, guys. Green? I don't give a fuck about how you pour your to cereal. To the streets! Joey, 
Be going. I do some things. You will not be some in my household are important, with the milk Joey. before cereal. I couldn't give two fat rat's asses about how you pour your cereal. You're a 10. Joey, we have rules for a reason. Civilization was built on reason and structure. And if people don't follow that structure, civilization Lord, crashes, never. Joey. Does the cow who provided I've, that milk give a shit I've about how it's poured? Never heard no. Heard of a Japanese I also man don't care. who doesn't like to follow a rigid set of rules until today. Well, guess I'm a fucking rebel then. To the streets. I don't with give you. a fuck how you pour your cereal. No, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it's fucked up, but I wouldn't end a relationship. It's a bit over beige. It. Yeah. It's like a beige green. I mean, I mean like, why I'd, would you uh, insist on having a worse experience? I'd uh, call them out for it. You, I just don't really care. Yeah. I'm like, if that's how you like it, that's fine. Just don't make me do the same shit. It's like shit. putting the milk in the tea before you've put the tea in. It's like, why are you doing this? You're doing this so much harder for yourself. I just think to myself, oh, you're fucking lost. I'm still eating <laughs> cereal. They're delicious. Not a big deal. No. I don't really give a fuck, but there you go. That was the red flag, green flags. Um, that was fun. That was, that was a lot fun. of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let us know your uh, red flags and green flags down in the comments below. We'd love to check them out. And uh, hopefully you, <laughs> I wonder how many people have started to see us differently after this <laughs> yeah. Now you know what we're really like. All my friends yeah. hate Disney adults. <laughs> fuck them. Agreed. You know what? If you haven't seen any classic movies, I could show you the way. I could show you the way. <laughs> You're a fucking pleb. Watch some Godfather, God damn it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Trash Taste. Take it away, Joey. Yo, check out these patrons though. I hope you guys don't pour milk before your cereal because that is actually psychotic. This guy does. Yeah, yeah don't. Unless you're a 10, then I don't give a fuck. But uh, hey, if you like to support the show, uh, then make sure to go to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. And we will see you guys next week. Bye-bye.